Yo, what's up, everybody? It's your boy Joseph Rothschild, aka M B T. How's everybody doing today? Me? I am doing great. That's like a complete lie. I'm literally just lying to you all. I'm not doing great at all. I'm having a bad fucking day. It's not going well. I got a lot of shit that I was supposed to do, and I got none of it done. How is that fair? You know what? Ugh. While we're while we're watching the Japanese train, let's get some let's get some uh, Undertale yellow genocide runs going on. It's just like really important for uh you know a whole bunch of uh different things. How's everybody doing today? Uh, I woke up super late, and I feel really bad about it. Um, but I was up till like 4 a.m. doing shit. I just had shit to do. Uh, and that's because a significant amount of my day was funneled into the absolute, uh, okay, we won't do this. The absolute fucking, uh, hole that is the, uh, the, uh, Master Duel Cup. The Cup Experience. I don't know why I thought this, but at 10 p.m. from Duel Level, like, 10, I was like, you know what? What if I just gun it, you know? What if I just fuck it? I, I don't want to miss out on dual level max. That should be pretty easy. And so I did it, and I, I got to dual level 19 on like a 20 game win streak. And then as soon as I hit 19, it became the most frustrating experience of all time. It was like, uh, win, 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 rank up, it's done. Win, 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 rank up, you bricked. Win, 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 rank up. Winnable game, lost the die roll. Win, 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 rank up. The timer was wrong. That was the most insane. It was so annoying. And I was just like, so we got like, I got like four deep and I was like, no, nah, it's it's just not to be. I got to go to, I got to go to bed. Timer. Yeah, you people may not have noticed this, but originally it said the event ended an hour before it really did. Oh, man. There's so much stun in the cup, this format. It's so annoying. Were you playing Heroes? No, I was playing a good, I was playing a good deck. I was playing Snake Eye. Ugh. Anyway, I was, um... Ugh. And then I was supposed to meet with an individual to help set up the new stuff. The new, like, the new border and chat window and alert. It's all done. I just need to put it somewhere. But that requires someone to walk me through the process of, like, opening a bunch of browser sources. So, um, that, that fell through, uh, and then I was supposed to put together a video for today and I just ran out of time. So I had to hand it off to Dyer and I'm going to have to upload it without watching it first, which is always, you know, it, it's always a little bit of a, um, a, a gamble with Dyer. She doesn't really know how to spell and I haven't eaten anything today. I don't know. I'm just having a bad one. Ugh. And Jillian was like, I'm going to make my way home today so, you know, we can, like, fool around in the middle of the day. And then she didn't. And I'm like, you know I stream every Monday of our lives, right? Pretty tight window here. That was wrong. Such is the plight of, of, uh, of the streamer, man. Ah, uh, life is so hard. But she, I asked her what she wanted. I have to order food. I asked her what she wanted. She said, I'm not sure you can pick. That's like literally a lie. I'm not falling for that shit. In fact, I'm going to text her that. that was wrong. I'm not falling for that shit. Right, let me give her some options. Uh... 
Mexican, Chinese, even Korean. Pizza. Italian. Peruvian. I want Peruvian. I'm going to say that. Peruvian question mark. That was wrong. Hmm. The problem is I, I want to cook dinner rather than uh, order it. But I have... I have a uh, tummy hurt disorder, so I really can't like stand up for more than 30 seconds at a time. Lomo Sotaldo time? Yeah, for sure. That's literally what we're doing. Support your local pizzeria. They have better pizza than uh, Poo Poo John's. Uh, I don't know if that's necessarily true in Maryland. Ugh. I don't know. We've, we've been through the fucking ringer trying to find a pizza place that doesn't make us immediately wretch. But, uh, it's hard. Uh, Maryland doesn't know how to make pizza. Only, only New York and New Jersey are. Don't get the racist pizza. I am going to get the racist pizza. PA pizza is good. You're right. It's, it's tri-state. She has not yet responded. I'm I'm going yes on Peruvian. And if she if she says no to Peruvian, then there's gonna be a problem. She said yes, please. What did I how did I do that? Uh what is the place that she orders from? I actually don't know. What is the name of the place you order from? Are you going to do the only form of Praxis, ordering DoorDash? Indeed I am. Ugh. We've actually been really good about DoorDash recently. If Jillian wasn't coming home or was eating where she is, I could heat up some leftovers. There's some leftovers I really want in the fridge. I don't know. But a rough day in general. I haven't eaten. I haven't nutted. I didn't get to do all of the, like important clerical work that I have to do in order to keep the channel chugging. Just a big day of nothing, and now I have to spend four hours in front of a screen, en screen entertaining a bunch of toddlers. As I approach my three-year subversary, I want to rec uh, reflect on all the things that have made our time together great. Isaac, the subathons, great ace attorney, Twitter threads, and freaks, and most importantly, not Yu-Gi-Oh. You're right. Very true. That's literally true. That's 100% true. Anyway, um... No, I have been I have been playing a little I opened up Undertale Yellow there for a second. I have been playing a little Undertale Yellow. Uh I remember it's <laughs> I remember hearing about it like nine years ago and being like, oh shit, it's really come out, huh? So I, I played through it and unfortunately, uh it has it has assuaged the little wrinkles in my head in the exact right way for me to really wanna talk about it like uh like very badly. Uh, I really would like to speak about it at length. Uh, it's enough that I think that I'm probably going to put a video about it on the clip channel. Like, I'll just ha hand Vlad, like, 20 minutes of unedited footage and be like, just cut all the stupid shit I say out of that. Um, but the short of it is, it is unfortunately... Hmm. So, I mean, I am, I am not yet done. I'm like 80% of the way through the genocide run, and I think that we will probably do that as the uh, as the alt game today. But uh, I I think that it is very much like what if Undertale did not have anything to say? <laughs> what if there were no? <laughs> I don't know. I'll I'll expand upon this in a video. But it's a really interesting uh, take on the formula. Uh, that I think misses a lot of what made what should have been a formulaic RPG Maker game really special. And um, I don't know. 
it's like uh, you have to kind of so I don't know not not to get too into it but Undertale is so much about like the relationship uh, between consumers and content right and how that can like what what that justifies and how that can manifest in some really awful things but like that discussion takes place in a world where there's this fundamental expectation that you will consume all the content you can from a piece of work. And then this one, there are similar expectations. It's an Undertale game. It's expected to, like, have a genocide route, and there's nothing said about it. It's And also, like, there's no motivation to go kill people, right? Like, in, in Undertale, there's, like, a demonic entity like from the back rooms but like that's supposed to be some sort of stand-in for the player at least wanting to experience content just as a means to experience and in this one it's like okay that that doesn't exist because we know that that happens in the next one so uh uh he's just doing it for fun it's it's interesting it's fan shit who cares like damn i mean that's the thing i mean like i don't know what to tell you like sorry for wanting to talk about it me being like Oh, yeah, man, like, I think that this uh, game that they spent nine years on uh, could have really benefited from an interrogation of uh, if they wanted it to say anything. And you're like, oh, so you want to talk shit about this thing that people poured their blood, sweat, and tears into? Die. Kill him. I will not be utilizing my Twitch Prime subscription on this channel. I don't know. It's just um that was wrong. It, it it's interesting because uh it's like I'm trying to compare an NBA player to uh LeBron. Uh no one can touch Toby. See, like that's the thing is like I don't think that the reason the game is disappointing in many ways is the result of the people making it being untalented or bad writers. I think it is uh a fundamental misunderstanding of what makes the game Undertale compelling. And I think that it is literally solvable by like a three minute conversation. It's it's very interesting. And I I don't know. Um it is very I I would like to explore it further in a video and I probably will make that, but it does feel a little bit like why are you shitting on all these people that poured all their time into a passion project? And the reason is, I just, I, you know, I love, I, I, I don't know. I operate under the critics code. Could I make Undertale Yellow? Fuck no. Could I beat it? You know, we'll find out, I guess, later tonight. But can I say that it could have been better in some places? You bet your ass. You bet your ass. That's the thing. I don't, is, is Yellow bad? I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad at all. I, I don't think I don't I act, I think it's quite good, but I think it is a very good RPG maker game. You know what I'm saying? I don't think it is an experience in the way that like Undertale became, right? You know, it, it's strange. A lot of the criticisms I I will probably levy at this piece of work. I would also levy at the first chapter of Deltarune, um, and a significant amount of the things that were done in Deltarune were done for a payoff that came almost immediately. And I was like, okay, all right, I'm on board. But like this one, there's not going to be another one. They're not making, they're not making yellow too. El Bali, El Balidor is top tier though. He is perfect. That the, was wrong. <laughs> uh, it is a really cool idea. He is a really cool idea. Unfortunately, and it's executed well. Unfortunately, I think like once they put him in the game, I imagine they were like. Yeah, we should have done this shit at all, huh? <laughs> it's like, ah, fuck. It's, but it's in there. I mean, we spent all this time on it. I don't know. Well, I'll talk about it at length. And but uh, a lot of it has to do with the writing. A lot of it has to do with. I think a misunderstanding of uh, what Undertale is about, um, and a lot of it has to do with um, the fact that it's a little too anime. That's like, this is the laziest criticism of it, 
but it's not cartoony enough. It's too anime. When anime stuff happens in yellow, it's like, of course anime stuff is happening. It's anime. Whereas when anime stuff happens in Undertale, it's like, holy shit, anime? That's crazy. Hmm. Would yellow have been better as its own thing? No. I, I think it's good that they attached it to the IP. Can you tell it was written by people who were fans of Undertale instead of people who were fans of Homestuck? Yes. Here's, okay, here's the short of it. Why is Undertale so good and Undertale Yellow's story kind of mid? I'll explain it to you. Because the writers of Undertale read Homestuck, which is a story about hating your fucking audience with every iota of your being. This translates into a route in Undertale designed to make your audience jump off a fucking bridge. And, <laughs> you know, that's, <laughs> that's, that's why. That is not what Homestuck is about, MBT. Shut the fuck up. How old are you? Type your age in chat right now. If I get a number that ends in teen, that's a perma. 23. You're 23? You're 23 years old and you think that? Grow up. <laughs> if they had said they were a teenager, I would have said you're a child, but they said they weren't. So instead of admitting I was wrong, I said, you know what, actually? I'm doubling Dune. I'm doubling Dune. 23. Let me do some mental math real quick. Homestuck came out 15 years ago, meaning you were 8 when it started. Monstrous. That was wrong. You were not alive for... They weren't alive for 9-11. You can't possibly understand Homestuck without having experienced a 9-11. You had to be in the plane to get it. What do you think of Problem Sleuth? Problem Sleuth goaded to this day. Goaded to this day. It's unfortunate. It is so 2007. That there's, a, there's a really iconic uh, panel of Problem Sleuth. Uh, that just has like a couple of slurs in it and I think about it all the time. <laughs> Does everyone know what panel I'm talking about? Let me see if I can find the page. If ugly arsler were turds, you would be the one that smells the worst. I think about that daily. Like, legitimately creeps into my mind on the day. I go, God, it's so good. It's right near the start. It's at the very end. Could not have been more wrong. Homestuck is antagonistic towards the audience. Isn't even a hot take. In Act 6, they introduce 14 characters for the sole purpose of being like, everyone reading this is a stupid piece of shit, die. It's so fun being like, Homestuck isn't about being antagonistic to the reader. Anyway, each of the Dancestors correlates to a different audience of Homestuck, and we just relentlessly make fun of them. And then we tell them they're wrong. <laughs> and then eight of them die <laughs> off screen. Ugh. Do people younger than 20 even count as alive? This is what I don't get, and I'm not going to get too into it. I'm not going to get too into it. Every time there's a YouTuber who's a pedophile, I'm always like, what do you see in children? You know, I know their brain's broken, but even if they have a disease in their brain that makes them attracted to children, what are you two going to talk about? Homestuck? Clearly not. This is why if, if me and Jillian ever get divorced, I will exclusively date... 40 plus year olds uh i don't think we're gonna get divorced i think that's unlikely um but i will never ever date anyone whose age starts at two ever again <laughs> it's just uh holy that was wrong in your opinion does it hurt undertale yellow that the genocide ending arguably has the best ending of the three routes 
I, you are making me make the video in front of you right now. I, this has to, it has to be a video of its own that I will upload later. But I will say, you are correct in saying the genocide route is the most interesting of the three. It is, there is so much love put into it. And this is why I have a fundamental problem with the concept is because they don't understand the purpose of the genocide route is to be a criticism of the player playing it. It is to be intentionally boring with the payoff of being like, here's a cool fight that like will just school you a thousand times until you memorize attack patterns, right? The, the purpose of genocide is to be like voyeuristic in that you look up someone else playing it and a fucking slog to play. And unfortunately, Yellow was like, what if we made it the most fun thing you could do by a mile? It is the most interesting thing in the whole game, and it's so good. And I'm like, well, that kind of defeats the purpose of the route. But then you have to ask if you are not making a point about like the nature of content, is it okay for the killing route to be good? And I think it is, but you have to be making some point then. You can't just be saying nothing. I don't know. Talk wrong. about this all day. You're saying you're pro-genocide? I'm an American. What do you think? Nah. My biggest issue with yellow is that the fights are too difficult. I have not found a difficult fight yet. And I say that and then we will just die one million times. I am at Axis. We will fight Axis. I will probably beat it on stream. And then I will walk directly to Martlet and get my ass beat 400 times in a row. Hey, Strongbat. I really liked your Underrail video essay. Da 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 dear Homestuck! Oh yeah, I can't do Homestar. I, can't, I can do Strongbat a little. I can't do Homestar. Homestar is a really hard voice, actually. He's very difficult. Siberian, I think you're absolutely correct. Undying the Undying is a really fucking fun fight. It's extremely nice. I, they couldn't help themselves. What about Homsar? I can do Homsar. I'm a thrice-baked potato. I used to be better at it back when I was watching Homestar Runner on the reg at age, like, 14. I fucking... <laughs> Coach Z. Coach Z is hard, too. I can do PCP really well. Strong Sad. Also hard. Also hard. All the Homestar Runner guys are really hard to do. I'm shocked. <laughs> Danny's okay at them but like Danny is so good at every voice it's always shocking when he's only okay at a voice yeah Naja fan that's 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 pretty much exactly where I've landed I you know what I hate to be like this because I don't want to give you fucking morons any credit I really appreciate the people in chat who are engaging with just like the shit that I said off the top of my head meaningfully. I don't know why that is. That has never happened on this channel before. People have been like, hmm, I that is an interesting point. Here's my counter argument. That's never happened on this channel. Is it a different, what, what, a different people up right now? Is everyone in school? What's going on? Can you all just spam Keck Bald or something? What's going on? Because it's not Yu-Gi-Oh. Oh, okay, okay. You all caught, you caught me monologuing. Let's do a little bit of uh, just how, how life is going in general talking about uh, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, so we rolled out the new thumbs. New thumbs courtesy of the one, the only Swolax. Holy shit. I think they look great. I think they look good. Um, let me know if... Uh, give, but I, I appreciate feedback on them. We're, I'm changing up a lot of stuff in terms of like how my videos are made and for what purpose they're made. And it's part of an evolving conversation I'm having with my uh, YouTube partner manager, which I get to do a little bit of tomorrow. Um, the unfortunate part of the channel right now is that the shorts are doing too good right the issue is that the shorts are too good uh they are they're popping off too much i go to bed i wake up they're at a 100k some of them get to like 400k uh and as a result now i am re like frequently recommended in the shorts feed which is a, a huge benefit to sub numbers and a dog it's nothing in terms of money it's just no money whatsoever and so um i don't know 
uh, I, I, we're gonna we'll have a discussion about it. But I'm sure you all have 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 uh, experienced this. There's like channels that the food channels are really bad about this. The shorts do insane millions of views, and they can't get 10k on a long form. So I'm trying to I'm trying to shoot the gap here, and I'm doing it through a very specific dedicated push i mean there's a reason that one of the shorts a week is literally just a 10 minute testing uh you know there's a reason that um uh no refunds. a lot of the cadence is similar but we'll see is the competitive history thing a new series it seems really algo friendly yeah i want to talk about the competitive history thing a lot uh real quick we spent a lot of time on that blue eyes video i'm really happy with how it turned out it obviously has bombed but it's not we didn't expect it to be like an inc incredible one of 10, like 400,000 people watch it day one. It's one of those things that like will get recommended to people in their sub boxes and they'll hit it. And mostly, ideally, people who are not already subscribed to me. And in terms of uh, how its views have been going, um, you know, it's already clear. It, like it uploaded at 10 of 10 and by like day three, it was a six of 10. And now we're like, OK, just hands off. If it catches, it catches. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Um, I will say. One thing that I got a lot of shit about is uh, the Edison format dragon deck. Um, a significant amount of uh, people were like, hey, just so you know, there is an Edison format deck uh, that, like, you should have spent some time um, working on. And uh, what, uh, what happens is you use um, Future Fusion to send Whitestone and get Blue Eyes, right? And they were like, someone someone was in the chat like, it's a top five deck in Edison. And I didn't want to be like, I'm sorry, I know like way more about this than you. But not only is it not a top five deck in Edison, but people were like, historically it was very played. It has zero recorded tops during that format. Zero. F like a big fat goose egg. Um, but... It still should have been mentioned in the, like, postscript where I just go through all the stupid places that Blue Eyes was playable. Definitely, like, I should have mentioned it. If I was going to mention that it was in Dragon Link for two weeks, I should have mentioned it. And I feel bad about that. Um, but outside of that, I am really happy with how it turned out. I'm sad you didn't mention Gar Dragon Blue Eyes. It ends, it, like, there is a sentence about it in the, in the end thing where I'm like, people tried it in this dog shit version of dragon link um but yeah i'm trying to make i'm trying to make videos like that we're gonna see what happens i think that while i really like my content a lot of it is very me focused and i want to give people that aren't already in on the mbt project capital p um the opportunity to enjoy uh, some of the stuff i make because like i don't want to be like selling myself all the time i do want to be selling like my abilities as like a script writer and a you know an editor not an editor dire edited that shit you know Yeah, Rebecca, that's that's kind of what I was thinking. So the problem is, if it's good, like if it does well, I would want to make these probably once a month. But like, what else am I going to do? Algorithmically, the obvious next choice is Dark Magician, but what is it going to be one minute video? Dark Magician was playable. In the in-off format, it was the sixth best deck. Thanks, everybody. Uh, don't forget to send it for Dragoon. Yeah, I, That's pretty much it. It would be like, okay, it was playable at the outset of the game, in all format. It was half of Dragoon. That would be it. Hero? Oh, Hero would be crazy. Hero would be like a 90-minute video. Hero has been playable so many times. Holy fuck. The Red Eyes one uh, would be interesting, too. Uh, thank you for saying that, because... It really does not have any tops. No version of Red Eyes has ever remotely been good. Like, Dark Magician has, like, 2021 20, tops. Like, Tatsim's friend took it to a regional and topped with it or something. Like, there's interesting stuff that was being done with uh, Dark Magician at the release of Dragoon um, that wasn't just sending it to the graveyard, but, like, holy... <laughs> History of Exodia? What would Exodia be like? Exodia would be, like... At 2010 Worlds. <laughs> Rebecca. <laughs> I don't know. It's interesting. And of course, this isn't something that I'm even married to. You know, we'll see how the video goes. 
Um, and if it doesn't catch, you know, I'm not going to spend. It was a lot of money we spent on that one. What the fuck? Where is the food? Lomo Sataldo. Hello. Where is my DoorDash slave? There we go. Oh, but I want the I want the Lomo Sataldo. Oh, Pollo Sataldo. Yeah. Pollo. We get two of those. And then let's just check out. What made that one notably more money? Uh, the fact that it took a lot more editing. Now, okay, now that I've purchased off of uh, DoorDash, I will just let you all know that that was Praxis, what I just did. Zoo history is so funny. Zoo history is so funny. Bro getting 20 HelloFresh sponsors a month still ordering DoorDash. Pull yourself up by the bootstraps. You don't have the leftover allergy. <sighs> You're right. But Jillian is coming back late, and she will want delivery. I just know. I know she will. Um, and I texted her to ensure that she would. But I am such a fucking fiend for leftovers. We Jillian made a meal uh, last last week that we have leftovers of, and it was like it was literally like nine days ago. But like I could do it, right? Nine days? How bad could that be? Nine nine days? Come on. Depends on what it is. Uh, it's like a chicken pot pie casserole. So it's like chicken and gravy and frozen vegetables and like bread. I'm getting a lot of no's, but what if... What if I put it in the microwave for like six minutes? Like that'll kill anything on it, right? You're not a young man anymore, Joseph. That's true. I've gotten food poisoning so often as like a 28, 29 year old that I'm just like, fuck, my guts are really bad. Ugh. Do a little bit of parish social stuff. This past weekend, we took Danny to prom. A barcade around us did this thing where they did like an adult prom. They were like show up in like a tacky prom dress and, you know, um, spend X amount of money on a ticket and we will sell you like shitty drinks for teenagers all night like vodka sodas and stuff and Danny never went to prom as as a kid because his high school had eight people in it so um we had a we had a great time uh however we got there and unfortunately found out that there was not they hadn't like cleared a space in the barcade for the prom so it was just a bunch of like adults in like these stupid fucking dresses, like walking around a bunch of arcade cabs. And it was like, we're not gonna like dance or anything? What What the fuck? What, what are we supposed to do here? Um, so what we did there was we got insanely plastered and then we went to a better bar <laughs> and uh, uh, then we came back for more free drinks and then we went to a second also better bar and then we came back and played skee ball until they told us you have to leave. And that's when you went into the HVAC room. It precipitated a video in which I do not remember how I got in, but I do remember being in there. There's an HVAC at one of these bars, and I'm like, hey, what's up? It's me, Joseph Rothschild, a.k.a. MBT, and I am in the HVAC. And there's actually two takes of that video, one that has been deleted. And uh, the one that has been deleted, um, I say... Uh, Hey, Joseph Rothschild here. I'm in the HVAC. And you can hear... Oh, you know what? Actually, I can't talk about... I can't talk about it. I'm realizing. I was fucking drunk, though. I did do, like, a am drunk AMA. And then two seconds later, I was like, No, I just want to have fun with my friends. Bye. <laughs> it was funny. Um, so I wake up the next day, right? And I realize I'm 30. Like, how is this fair? I'm fucking, I'm 29. I can't do this anymore. I wake up and I'm like, I'm going to die. We had plans to go to the aquarium. I wake up, I go get Danny. I'm like, hey, you ready for the aquarium? And he goes, if I have to get in a car, I will throw up. And we said, okay, what if we do nothing all day instead? And that's what we did. 
we were but all day we were thinking about we were like what can we do around here you know it was so bad outside and all the stuff that i like to do around here is outside and we're like i guess we could go to like like a, a we go somewhere you know and we were trying so hard all day not to go see dune 2 again but every every like 20 minutes we were like but we could go rewatch dune 2 oh dune dune 2 that was wrong why would you not uh jillian hasn't seen dune 1 is why that's why we ended up not doing it Stayed up till 5.30 a.m. partying, slept three hours, worked a nine to five alone on Sunday. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> ah, to be young. I There's so many, like, when I look back, even like half a decade, I'm like, how did I do that? When I was 23, uh, I went from a nine to five, changed in the bathroom, went to a plane that was taking off at seven at LaGuardia, flew to... Uh, Las Vegas to co-commentate a PPG with Alex that day flew back that night at like 10 p.m. and because of the time change got in from this red eye in time to walk into the bathroom change and do the nine to five again and I remember being like why did I fucking do that like that was there had to be a better way to do that. And I was I was out that day. I was like, uh, yeah. but like I made it out. And I remember being like, I, I was thinking back to that. And I was like, I would just die if I did that today. I would just fucking die. Ugh. Um... One fun thing at the prom, though, is they served us a jello shot in a syringe. I had never done that before. Uh, <laughs> but uh, th that was fun. We had Danny squirting the jello into his mouth from a syringe, and I was like, Ugh, I have COVID. And I didn't even have that much. Like, when I think back to how much I, I drank in, like, college, I had maybe five vodka sodas and like two other drinks like uh at the other bars and then the jello shot which is like it's like a, a lot but it's not like a lot a lot it's not like a wake up and be gone all day type thing but you know who really fucking pounded us was jillian she was like she was up at 7 30 like it was nothing <laughs> she's she's Irish through and through. She's got the Guinness in her blood. She had she had as much as us. She probably had more than us. Fuck. I don't know if I like acknowledging that when we first met you, you were what my age is now. Time marches. Sabian, I don't like thinking about uh, knowing you prior to like two years ago. Because thinking that I was, like, spending, like, an hour a day probably arguing with, like, a 16-year-old. If I had known that, I would have just jumped. Like, I don't... <laughs> there should be... Warning! 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 This user is not <laughs> done with high school. You do that here all the time still? That's fair. But it's in front of other people. It's like a spectator sport. What ruling were you arguing about? No, you're just arguing about stupid shit. How many slurs were said at the prom? We, I was saying slurs. I, I do say one very specific slur when I get drunk. But it's not a bad one. <laughs> Some of you have figured it out already. <laughs> How's Nuke Law going? Great. We actually, um, we took a week off because uh, our professor like wasn't around. And we watched, uh, in class, we watched Strange Love. Uh, been a while since I've seen it. Um, and it's just, you know, watching it back, it's so funny how effectively they nail like a very specific type of conspiracy guy who's now like 
he's he's like the apex conspiracy guy. He's like defeated all all uh, all his other predators. It's like the like semen retention, fluoridation, communist plot guy. It's it's crazy. It's like oh wow, he, you guys got that in one. 1963, really? That's crazy. Ah, <sighs> uh, well. I'm trying to think, um... I'm trying to think what else I have to say about the channel. Oh. If you, uh... It's the 25th? Nah, I'll wait on that then. I think, I think probably that's all I want to say about anything right now. Yeah. Oh, we got a hole in the schedule. I'm wondering what we should bring back. What, you, what, what, what series would you like to see brought back? Playoffs, JJ. <laughs> we are so we're trying so hard to bring back JJ, but RJ has like a life. Pegasus challenge. Seen a lot of Pegasus. Seen a lot of Pegasus. What's you know what actually? What's the worst thing we could bring back? What is the dumbest thing we could bring back? Magical hats. Great time to have Coder on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> rotation yeah rotation for sure I would put coder on the channel the day that all of that was going down before I would make one more second of rotation I just want you all to know <laughs> jeopardy oh we could do a jeopardy this week oh fuck it's been so fuck but <laughs> counters we'll just we'll bring him in we'll be like and back from his hiatus Speed Lords, yeah, we'll bring back Speed Lords. I actually talked to Meep the other day. I was like just checking the Histlander server. I was like, do people still play Histlander? The answer is no. And I was like, oh shit, what's going on here? Everybody cool? I was like, wow. We didn't talk about anything other than Yu-Gi-Oh though, so I don't know. Chalice Lime Weekly? Yeah, sure. Oh, I guess I do want to say this. So, today's upload is going to be about the um, Konami-sponsored Challenger Cups. I'll just be completely transparent with you. They have not reached out to me to host one. I know that's shocking. They they saw the guy with the greatest tournament series in Master Duel, and they didn't want to reach out to Hey, you know what? That's water under the bridge. When you run out of fucking... brand safe accounts in exactly one week you know where to find me i will i will reiterate this to to any konami people who are watching i can be very normal i'm not normal on my streams because i don't have a reason to be but if you go back and watch some of the ppgs i'm very normal they give us a lot of leeway i'm very normal i have the capacity for normalcy i am and i'm willing to i'm willing to exercise it in the name of uh in the name of brand safety, I would never want to hurt the brand. You understand that, right? I would, I would fucking die for Konami. If Mr. Konami came into my house and he said, suck me off and I'll let you do a Challenger Cup, I would be like, absolutely right, sir. Will I be swallowing? You know what, actually? I would, I would do it. <laughs> I would do it without asking. But that's, that's by the way, that's not going to be in the challenger cup stream i won't say stuff like that i'll say stuff like this i'll say wow those new snake eye cards are really powerful that's what i'll be saying you know someone will fucking transaction rollback eev their opponent turns zero and i'll go that transaction rollback is one of the most powerful new cards released into master duel i'll be like master duels advanced releases have really allowed duelists to experiment with new strategies like this transaction rollback labyrinth list you know i'll, I'll be saying shit like that all goddamn day you know what i'm saying they're, 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 um, we're gonna watch someone like um, uh, attack a uh, 
you know, just refuse to read a board state and make an attack that loses them the game instantly because they're very dumb. And instead of being like, that player is so fucking stupid, I'm going to say something like, that's the thing about Master Duel. It's easy to learn, but it's hard to master. I'm sure they won't be making that mistake again. You know, I'll be saying that all day. Whoo. I don't know. It but um I, I played in I played in the uh the Zara one. I was actually super happy with my performance. I went four one and I didn't top <laughs> they were like they did top eight five rounds for hundred and twenty eight players. So twenty one X ones didn't clear. It was unbelievable. Um but it, it produced a really interesting game that Zara commentated. Unfortunately her VOD is down and I asked her about it and I think she's at work right now. But her VOD's down, um and I really want to go back and, and rewatch it because I think I beefed that one game. I got to play Jason Leonard. It was weird being on the other side of that instead of casting it. Um, and, uh, but, um, unfortunately, yeah, the reason I'm talking so much about this is it means I, I'm just going to be completely honest with you. We're not doing the MCS again. I have to send some really rough emails to some people who are looking to sponsor it, like, later tonight, and I've been putting it off. So if you're those sponsors and watching, sorry. Um, but, uh, it was always meant to be a stopgap until we got Challenger Cups, and truth be told, you know, I would never comment on any sort of leaked information, but, you know, we didn't expect that there would never be NA Master Cups, and I, I'm happy that they are here. Uh, and as much as I loved the MCS, it was a huge time commitment and financial burden for me. So I'm really happy to be rid of it, despite the fact that I think it was, like, really important for the community. Um, time for me to start an OnlyFans to replace my MCS funds. Oh, I've got you doing enough stupid shit. There's no way an OnlyFans could be less degrading than editing Will, right? And that means the, that CSM is back. Maybe we should run a couple CSMs. Maybe not this second, though. Maybe we'll, uh... God, I miss the CSM. The downside to the Master Circuit series is you had to play Master Duel. <laughs> Bring back Moron ban list. We will probably do it at some point. But like the problem with the the problem with the Moron ban list is like like what would come off? Like anything can come off right now. The problem is the ban list needs to exist to actually ban stuff. It's fun to do more on ban lists for ban lists that don't need to happen. But this one does need to happen. Nim Nim says rip MCS. Rip MCS? What the fuck are you? Oh, oh no. Sorry, Gage. You won't be able to sleep through an event. Oh no. You won't be able to go O2. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you, man. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I think the MCS ending is one of the best things that could possibly happen for your reputation. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, when are we conquesting, by the way? This motherfucker wants to try conquest a fourth time. One of these days, we're going to actually finish it. Yeah. All right, I think that's probably enough. Y'all want to do freaks? I know what you want. I know what you want. You want freaks. You want me to read you some Twitter freaks. You want to go. Oh my God, these people are so freakish. I agree. I think that they are. And I think that talking about them will get far. We will make a million dollars together and generate so much value for Konami. Yeah, I got upbeat there for a second. Uh, let's begin with a. Uh, oh no, it's been deleted. All right, I do want to talk about this though because uh, you actually don't need the post. Sometimes people are just riffing in the QRTs, and this is one of those scenarios. So someone posted part of uh, the very last YouTube rewind that has like that like odd one out going like, "Let's do the in my feelings challenge," and then it's a bunch of like fucking animators and like content creators that are now like I don't know. They're it's like 
you know, you make a YouTube rewind, you think it's going to be at least like 40% pedophiles. But um, it is funny watching them back and being like, why was everyone so mad about this? Like, it was a little cringe, but like, that's what people were doing on YouTube. Like, if you go watch the, like, alternative rewinds that were made during that period, they are, like this person said, doing, like, just meme shit. They're doing, like, a dank meme compilations. It was cringe and out of touch, but it, it wasn't out of touch, I don't think. I don't think it was. I think that, like, the In My Feelings challenge was a big deal that year. <laughs> I think that, um... I think that storytime animators should be allowed to do uh, the In My Feelings Challenge. Let me actually hold up YouTube Rewind. Yeah, here we go. Is this it? 2018? All right, let's stop when we see our first pedophile, okay? Will Smith is fine. And Mark Ass Brownlee. Mark Ass Brownlee. Okay, everyone in this shot safe? Everyone in this shot safe? I think so. Is this what you wanted? You know who I would have asked for? Quit horsing around! This is fun. Come on, this is fun. Play me some of that jumping music. Okay. You said jumping music? Jumping music. And there's the Fortnite. Is it cringe? Yes. Unquestionably. Not even a thank you? But come on. Like, he, it's a ninja. He's great. He's my guy that I like. And then, you know, it's it's a bunch of people sitting around and they're like, what if we did this? What if we did this? And they're like, Mukbang, Mukbang was big on the on the platform. People are just people are just mad that YouTube isn't being used the same way it was. And I I can feel that. Like a 2007 YouTube rewind would have just been like, here's Smosh's least racist bits, you know? <laughs> it, it, th things things have changed. And now there's like 55 different subcultures that are, do not interact with each other and they're like, how the fuck do we manage this? What was the least racist smosh bit? Beef and go. When are you doing a Yu-Gi-Oh mukbang challenge? What am I going to eat? Click CJ's link. I, it's going to make me mad. I know it's going to make me mad, but I'm going to do it because I'm stupid. Don't. Why do I? Why do I need to see Among Us musical? I. I'm okay. Next up. All right. This comes from. <laughs> this comes from Terry. You all, you all know Terry. Did y'all hear about Vladimir Putin opening the oldest vault to reveal images of biblical figures? They all black, every single one. Hmm. That's crazy. I actually did not hear about Vladimir Putin opening the oldest vault to reveal images of big biblical figures. What the fuck? How did he get access to the oldest vault? He opened the oldest vault and revealed images of biblical figures, and they all black. Every single one. But the oldest vault, and they all black. Every single one. And the oldest, they open the oldest vault. They all black every single one. This, he opened the oldest vault to reveal images of biblical figures. Every single one. All black. Vladimir Putin. There are people in this thread saying, so what? And we already knew. And why does it matter? Like people haven't been persecuted for their beliefs on this topic. That's very true. Many people have been persecuted for believing that the oldest vault didn't contain images of biblical figures. And they're all black. Every single one. Which vault? Oldest vault. The oldest vault. Vladimir Putin. Open the oldest vault. So I tried to source this. I was like, I was like looking at, I was like, where the fuck did this come from? And I found it. It's like a black Israelite channel on YouTube was like, Vladimir Putin opened the oldest vault to find images of biblical figures. They all black every single one. And this is someone just like explaining a YouTube video they watched without linking the YouTube video. It's yeah, it's, it's just fucking, did, did you hear that? Uh, XQC Fortnite dub? Uh, 
Um, I don't know. It's just really weird to me. Like, come on. It's not like we're hurting for black Jesus. Like, black Jesus is everywhere. I talked about this like three weeks ago, but we went to a, an exhibit on like Ethiopian Christianity at a museum around here. And I was like, wow, these guys had black Jesus in fucking 100 AD. That's crazy. They got it from the oldest vault, I, I guess. Yeah. I think we made, I think you have to make Jesus your ethnicity, right? When you, when you decide to become Christian. When was white Jesus invented? What, like 1947? I'm there right now. He ain't opening shit. You're at the oldest vault. The oldest vault. Could you talk to us about the biblical figures? Are they all black? Every single one? It's so good. Next up. <laughs> all right. Let's talk about r slash adultery. So I'm so glad Rebecca's here for this. Becky, thank you for putting this on my fucking TL this weekend. So... Are you guys familiar with r slash adultery? This is, it's so good. It is a, it's, imagine being a Redditor and, and cheating on your wife. First up, how did a Redditor find two people to fuck them? Like, holy. But the short of it is, what happens on this subreddit is a bunch of people post all day about how and why and like to what end and like the mechanisms by which they will be cheating on their spouse and everyone in the comments gasses them up they're like go for it you're doing great what a smart idea and then like the other half of the posts are like my life is ruined she found out my life is ruined what do i do and all the comments are like well what did you expect i do like that they're like welcome to r slash adultery the number one place to teach you about cheating on your wife and it's like my wife found out i cheated on her yeah well that's the nature of the beast, man. <laughs> it's, it's so good. Um, but uh, these people, of course, they have to be reddit about it. So they call the measures they take to ensure that their wife doesn't find out they're fucking someone else. OPSEC. Like they're the fucking National Security Administration. National sucking ass. <laughs> uh, my OPSEC is pretty good, but like... Oh no, Sadie found out. Anyway, let's check it out. <laughs> Longtime lurker, occasional commenter of this great sub, using a throwaway because my paranoia is at an all-time high right now. I have great OPSEC, but haven't needed to need use it because my wife works all the time. We have a great sex life. I would be shocked if she even knew what I was doing. I come home from work yesterday, and usually my wife gets home 30 minutes later. When I realized it's getting late, I called. No answer. I check our room. Her things are gone. She left the house completely untouched, took all her clothes, left no note, can't get in touch with her through the phone, email, friends won't answer. She must know, right? <laughs> Who finds out and just leaves? Ugh. It's so good. It says, this is not what I want. How do I not go through this? I wouldn't have done it if I thought she'd find out. I'm just desperate. I need to fix it because fuck, I need to know how she even found out. The reply, what did you think would happen? <laughs> Were you disappointed she didn't scream and cry and play the pick me game? She found out it's a deal breaker. You got off easy. No arguing, no screaming, no crying, no therapy, nothing to sit through or pay for. Probably took a couple months stash, some cash, find a place or another guy. Don't try to fix this. 
Maybe a little. I don't know why I felt that way. But yeah, I guess I just wanted to see some kind of reaction. I know it doesn't make sense, but it's just how I feel. She makes most of the money, unsurprising. So it's another fucking kick in the nuts. I'll have to ask her for some kind of support. Oh, you're going to get it too. You, She will really respond positively to that. To keep living the kind of lifestyle we've been living. Great. Love that sentence. I wish she would fight me. Seems like she's willing to let everything go, including her own money, just to avoid me. And it's making me feel like I don't know her. She's willing? You... What the fuck? This guy, his life a movie. He literally is like, I want to have a scene from a movie where the wife found, finds out the husband is cheating and they have like a teary-eyed makeup and like, I just want to feel alive, man. Just shut the fuck up. <laughs> Justice for this man's wife. Uh, I have great OPSEC. Oh, no. That's unbelievable. And, of course, Tesla is killing my OPSEC. If you're interested in buying a Tesla, uh, just be aware that your partner is going to be able to see your location uh, on the Tesla app. As well as how fast you're driving, if you're parked, where you're parked, and even where you are in the fucking car with the heat map because you're hoping to turn up the temperature in the backseat. Cars are getting too damn smart these days. I love the Tesla is the cuckold car. Elon has ruined my OPSEC. Next up. Noticed my neighbors are using DoorDash a lot. Not sure the reasons, but in the spirit of Purim, I have decided to make them chilly. Haven't been on Twitter in a few days, but I'm sure the climate will be amenable to this heartwarming mitzvah. <laughs> incredible fucking post maybe my maybe my favorite of the week is so good <laughs> holy shit it's so good oh my god <laughs> man the doordash shit has been unreadable for like a week now oh my god uh, it's, it's still going. We were here last week talking about the fucking DoorDash discourse. They will not stop it. I, I don't know what it is. I think that it's being planted by another delivery company in order to permanently associate DoorDash with the most annoying fucking discourse ever so that you use like Grubhub or something. I, that would be actually a pretty heads up business move. I think actually that is what happened. I have convinced myself that's what's happening. Just by virtue of having an idea and immediately believing it. <laughs> Ugh. I genuinely forget what's the DoorDash discourse. It's, is it okay that we all order too much DoorDash? You say something like that and then everyone goes, well, I have to order DoorDash because of my disease. And uh, then we spend a week just talking about that. Isn't that, like, super cool? Isn't that, like, a really good use of time, by the way, for everyone involved? Um, I, I Again, I, I don't want to retread this ground, but I will give you all the unbeatable argument for this argument. Anyone, regardless of, you know, how their brain works, their financial situation, if they can cook, regardless, you are allowed to order as much DoorDash as you like. You can order DoorDash every meal of every day of your life. You just you just have to feel a little bad about it. You got to order it and go, I, I should have cooked. And then you just eat it, you know? This is, that's how it goes. You just, you, you just have to feel a little bad about it. I've been saying this for a week. You just have to feel a little bad about it. And I do, says Sophie. Exactly. Done. You're free. You don't have to engage with this. But Joseph, I need fresh ingredients to cook. Do you know a place I can get them? No, you don't. I need fresh ingredients to cook. Who are you, Gordon Ramsay? <laughs> you don't need fresh ingredients. Come on. <laughs> but I can tell you, if you want someone else to cook for you, using fresh ingredients and deliver these chef quality meals directly to your doorstep. Then you can use exclamation mark affiliates in the comments to go get a factor thing. <laughs> okay. It was next up. Putin, the uh, Putin opened the oldest vote. They all ate DoorDash. So close, man. 
I remember asking you about the chili discourse, you explaining it to me, and I still don't get it to this day. I don't understand what went on that week. Chili discourse, okay. DoorDash discourse is insane. Here's here's what I'll okay. You you all have got me doing DoorDash discourse. I think there are good arguments for ordering all your food. Um I think there are people who are in a state of disability where they can't cook for themselves and have no mechanism basically otherwise that they could get anything resembling edible food. That's fine. I don't, I don't have a problem with that. There was one of these that went off the other day where someone was like, what, do they need someone to watch them at all hours of the day? And the quote tweet was like, yeah, that's like one of their positions is that like they should have like a caregiver in the house. It's like, yeah, I mean, sure, fine, whatever. Um, I, I think that's that's completely okay. The the chili discourse was different insofar as I can't imagine someone who would have been mad about the chili. Like I have to, like you can invent a person that like theoretically does need to eat DoorDash a lot. I don't think you can invent someone who would be actually mad about the chili. The chili is like, I, I legitimately, they were like, well, what if they were allergic to chili? And I was like, I think they would still appreciate the gesture. What if they don't have bowls? I, they, I, huh? They'll, they'll eat it out of the Tupperware. Who cares? I really think like, I legitimately, I can't think of anyone who would have a, an anti-chili position. And yet so many people did. They invented an anti-chili position. <sighs> Next up. Okay, this one fucking kicks ass, dude. Okay, so I learned this week about Ugandan wrestling. <laughs> So the Ugandan wrestling company has a white guy heel named Lord White. So just a real quick, you know, primer if you're unfamiliar with how wrestling works. Sometimes there are people whose entire job is to be hated by the audience. And the one they have for Ugandan wrestling circuit is a white guy. His name is Lord White. Let's listen to some of his bits. A lot of countries fight for their independence, but not Uganda. We gave it back to you because we didn't want it anymore. <laughs> it's so fun that they're like, yeah, we know a white guy. Hey, do you want to be like a like a British style like colonizer? And we'll just all like you suck and like throw shit at you. He's like, oh, absolutely. That I will absolutely do that is my gimmick. It's so fun. Have you seen here? Check out Jillian. You never got to see Lord oh, yeah. White. You, you were just telling me about him. Yeah, check it out. A lot of countries fight for their independence, but not Uganda. We gave it back to you because we didn't want it anymore. <laughs> It's so good. Oh, my God. He's, he's so good. Holy shit. <laughs> he kills the delivery. He's he, he's really good. He's he really, really good. good. Holy Someone shit. Who else is really good? Who? Oh, Sadie has a little shirt on today. <laughs> She's had her evening meal, but she does need some attention. Hi. You know, this morning I was like, Sadie, do you want your sweatshirt back on? And I showed it to her, and she, like, sat and, like, patiently... Waited for me to put her little sweatshirt back on. Oh, that's sweet. Hi, your food's downstairs. Thanks. Sorry for staying so late. That's okay. I I am a little upset about it. I know. I wish you had told me about it. I'm sorry. I didn't. I didn't think. I was like sitting around at five, like, dang. Well, I'm sorry. I guess I can do something. Else. I just lost track of time. It's okay. Uh, I don't have choir tomorrow night, so I'll be free tomorrow night. Well, that's, I mean, that's, that's Danny and Peep's meme review. I don't know if I can miss that. Oh, okay. That's fair. I can miss that. Okay. Sorry. That's Just okay. lost track of time. No, 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 it's no big deal. Mm. Uh, did you have a, a good discussion with them? Honestly, we were just chilling, and it was very needed. That's good. So, That's good. Um, yeah. So, but sorry. That Jillian's you, been having uh, a bit of a rough week. Yeah. It's been a been a hard week to be Jillian. Um, but no, it was. I think it was it was some good quality hanging out time that was very needed, and I got a ton done at school today. Um, but I'm sorry, I lost track of time and forgot to tell you. All right, no problem. So that's why. I need this. Okay. What are you doing? 
What do you need these for? No. Mm -mm. (laughs) Jillian was going to pick up the scissors and be like, that's why I'm going to kill myself. No, I was going to say, that's why you should stab me. And then I was like, that's probably Mm. not a good joke to be making on stream. Like, take pointy objects away from Jillian so she doesn't make a joke about killing herself. Sorry. I would never make a joke like that on stream (laughs) every day for the last three years. That was wrong. (sighs) But yeah, I'm sorry. That's okay. I, I look forward to hanging out tomorrow. Me too. Sadie's very feisty. They live outside. Oh, another big ass box came for us. Uh, I don't know why that is. I think that chat. I I have to order like um, a conditioning salt for our water, and I think I may have accidentally that clicked it wrong. to weekly because the past two weeks we've gotten like a fifty pound bag of salt, and I'm like, uh oh, that's not. We don't need that much, so I'll have to check that. I think it's salt. I don't know what else it would be. It's in the same battered box. That's why I think so. Amazon, man. That's me. All right. Sorry again. No, it's fine. Peruvian downstairs. I love you. Love you too. Come on, hey, let's go outside. Do you have a Do you have sing song tonight? No. Okay. Why? I was just wondering. Hmm. Wait, do you have a water softener? Yeah. Why? Is there something I should know? Please help me figure out how mine works. You're on your own, buddy. I I literally just pay water people to come in once every six months. And I go, is this okay? And they go, yes. And the last guy who came in, I said, is this okay? He said, this has never been turned on. Who have you had services before? And I was like, you guys. And they were like, oh, they must have turned it off and never turned it back on. I was like, yeah, we had about six months of really hard water. Can I send the poster for Duel Night and then submit it to the Clips channel? Yeah, sure. What do you mean hard water? You know, when your water's too hard. Mm. You mean ice? No. Uh, okay. All right, what are we looking at? <laughs> this is, it looks good to me. Duel Knight, Jackie Chan as Team Samurai X1 featuring Jim Carrey as Farfa, a snowman as MBT, and XQC as Distant Coder. I did not realize that Distant Coder looks exactly like XQC. That's pretty close, actually. That's racist? No, Canadian isn't a race. But it will be under an MBT presidency. And we will be racist against them. (laughs) Our shibboleth will be like a boot. Quebecois nationalist MBT. (laughs) Hearing from Kevin, the like... Oh, no, there's, like, a series of laws in Quebec specifically designed to, like, force you to speak French because they're, like, scared that people will speak English to the detriment of French. It's like, Jesus, come on. Literally, like, learn the language type shit. It's great. (laughs) Next up. Speaking of XQC... So, this has been going around for about a week. Uh, this is the dot esports uh, story about it. Uh, this one. That was wrong. Th- this is where I tab out. <laughs> this is so good. 
So XQC's strange laundry habit leaves streaming fans puzzled. So this man is just a man full of strange habits. So I was excited to see where this one was going to go, and I'm happy to say it did not disappoint. So XQC is like a multi-quadrillionaire, and it's really funny when people who don't know how to have money have money. It's kind of where I am. Uh, is like, we're just like, I don't know. I guess I'll buy... Uh, like candles? I'll get into candles? I don't know. What am I supposed to do? And so he's thinking like, uh, okay, I make like, let's say $20,000 a day. If I spend about an hour doing laundry, well, that's like a thousand dollars of time wasted. So instead of doing that, why don't I purchase a new shirt every single day? It says, he had convinced himself buying a constant stream of inexpensive shirts was cheaper than doing laundry. It was less expensive mathematically, XQC, who I'm pretty sure doesn't know what math is, claimed. Though his justification wasn't exactly clear. I love that they're like... It, it made sense mathematically, said XQC, lying. He mentioned the time he saved by skipping laundry and low prices, but he seems he didn't factor in the volume of clothes he was going through, and piles started emerging. <laughs> he said, no, 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 I would donate them all. That's what I want, an unwashed, single-serving XQC-worn shirt. People like this need a manager for a reason. That's true, but like... Managing here is just do your fucking laundry. I do like it says, uh, he he ends up being like, it was so wasteful, and don't worry, I solved it by hiring someone to do my laundry. And he was like, well, that is a solution. That's maybe the solution for me would be, how long does can laundry realistically take you? If you're one guy living alone, dressing the way XQC does, you're wearing a shirt every two days, you know, seven pairs of underwear a week, Maybe a, a pair of jeans once a week. Like, how much laundry do you really need to do? Well, just start it when you go to bed. Come on. Remember when he was hiding the fact that he hired someone to clean for him? That's weird, right? If you live in a big house, I don't think it's that weird to have someone clean for you occasionally. Now, I don't, and so I wouldn't, but, <laughs> you know. Next up. This is so fucked up. Chat, I almost hate to show you this because it's going to ruin your life. But I think you deserve to know. This post is called Apple Juicification and the Illusion of Choice, a short thread. And this is, it's so fucking scary. Okay. Pink dragon fruit and leaky, lychee, 70% apple juice. Guava and lime, 66% apple juice. Berry set go, 82% apple juice. Tropical defense, 68% apple juice. Strawberry and cherry, 50% apple juice. That's not strawberry and cherry. That's apple and strawberry and cherry. Kiwi and cucumber, 62% apple juice. Have you tried another brand? Here's another brand. Raspberry and blackcurrant. Majority apple juice. Mango and passion fruit. 51% apple juice. Strawberry, banana, naked smoothie. 45% apple juice. Kiwi and pineapple. It's green. It's green. Green machine. 50% apple juice. Blueberry... And goji berry. 71% apple juice. Passion fruit and mango. 62% apple juice. God fucking damn it. I didn't want to know this. And now I know it. Now it's over. It's fucked because I know Danny had for a long time an allergy to apples. But apparently he couldn't have possibly. Because everything you drink apparently has apples in it. 
I used to work at a juice bar, and we were told if they ordered something where the standard amount of fruit and veggie wouldn't make enough juice to fill the volume, just add apple juice. It's cheap, it's sweet, and juicy. There's people in the comments saying that the reason they do it is because they can't put added sugar in, but apples have the highest sugar content by volume, so they get to say made with natural sugars. I fucking... I, listen, I love apple juice. It's one of my favorite things to drink. I drink it every time I'm on a plane, sometimes with breakfast. I don't think we really have any in the house. That would seem weird, right? Purchasing apple juice. But this is ruining my life. The U.S. is like this, too. I thought this was the U.S. This person's account is funny. At Northern Rock, at Theranos. Is Theranos still up? It is. Wow. Hmm. Uh-oh. This is a quote tweet on the tweet. I will once again remind people it is not the official's job to call an equal number of fouls on each team. The quote tweet. That was wrong. A key element of fascism is making it appear that the entire world is organized against your group, when in fact you are in the most advantageous and powerful position in society. The Los Angeles Lakers are a textbook example of this phenomenon. True. Literally true. Actually true. Holy. All right, let's do a little bit of Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. Um... <laughs> So, first and foremost, the ban list came out, the OCG ban list, and uh, it's not good. Uh, let me see if I can find it. No, where is it? Yeah. You see, we got a uh, SP Little Knight to two. Uh, we got a uh, <laughs> fucking Snash to two. Kieran to two. That's going to do it. Yeah. Uh, but I love the quote tweet. To folks in USA, SA, EU, UK. We envy how Konami and TCG manages your ban list. Konami in Japan has been putting out inefficient, timid, irrelevant, out of touch, and out of sync ban lists for quite a while. The cumulative effect is their incompetence is ruining the game. <laughs> I love this because it's like, Americans always say the same shit about the OCG. I mean, we don't anymore because we got a taste of what the ban list is kind of like in, in Master Duel, but... Oh, man. The grass is not greener, folks. It's not greener. We got our own problems. Next up. Are there any halal decks? Salam alaikum, fellow master duelists. I am in a predicament. I've been trying to hit masters. However, I'm hard stuck diamond five since I don't have any meta decks I can play allowed by Islam. My current options I had to consider are labyrinth. However, the women show too much skin and are haram. Pearly, but the entire deck is built around spells and magic. Therefore, it is also haram. Last is Kashtira. There's nothing problematic with this archetype at first glance, as much as it hurts to say. According to the lore, these monsters are colonizers and settlers, which reminds me of Israel. My imam would yell at me if she saw me special summon Fenrir for my hand. Is there any hope for me to reach masters? Super Heavy Samurai. No spells. All machines. What the heck? Can't do tier limit. It's gambling. This was my question, says Farfa. <laughs> it's gotta be, it's gotta be Super Heavy Samurai. The Butlerian Jihad prohibits thinking machines. I'm sorry. When I'm playing Super Heavy Samurai, I am not thinking. All right? <laughs> God. Did I miss something, by the way, in Dune 1? Do they just not mention the Butlerian Jihad? It just has happened somewhere else? No. Hmm. Interesting. They don't show the navigators either. Well, they're going to have to in the next fucking movie. All right. I think we're done with freaks. Let's watch Brock. After watching Everyone Controls Rewind. Gallop, what do you want? Gallop, what do you want? Did Gallup turn out to be a pedophile? Wh which of the... There should be, like, an account that's entire job is to, like, go through the YouTube rewinds and be like, this person was, was canceled, this person was canceled, this person was canceled. 
I genuinely despise freaks and I'm glad it's over. That's true. We can just stop doing freaks. I'm completely fine with that. I'm lying, of course. I'm not fine with that. Uh, where is... Here it is. Previously. Okay. So, Dimension of Chaos, I think, is a good one. I'm pretty sure Alex spoke to me while we were filming History of OCG and said, this is a good one. Uh, I am excited. I, I think that there's a lot of options. And so... Are you on something similar we to We shall see. Uh, <laughs> when you see this gigabyte, will that answer your question? <laughs> on Progression Series, series season, season 2. That back row better be crazy. Yeah, it's not. It's not crazy enough to beat that. Yep. Yeah, that's good. God, that last I episode was just I, fucking terrible. None really? Back, none of my back would do anything. You Fuck played... Me. You played this crisp. Unbelievably, like, <laughs> tight. In this series, both Nim Nim and myself will be opening Traversing 24 the sands of Yu Gi Oh's history. Box of a core Yu Gi Oh booster set. We, we will, will be sucking each other off. Best two out of three, and the winner will receive a, a small, small dick to upgrade, to upgrade their deck. deck. However, However, the following people episode, have subscribed to me since the stream started. Karos, thank you for the 24. Uh, Sucre R6, thank you for the Prime. Zero's World, thank you for the sub. Pleasure Model, thank you for the four. Tomcat01, thank you for the 15. Garbo Trasho, thank you for the 42. Their Kirby, thank you for the 24. Yerig, thank you for the 10. Yibes, thank you for the 2. A Recusant, thank you for the 33. Nimnim, thank you for the 49. A Bussy Witch, thank you for the 12. That's a Nimnim reference. Shiny Krishna, thank you for the 20. Nebby McWhale, thank you for the 20. Zemio, thank you for the 20. Uh, HVC 3000, thank you for the 16. Fizz Casts, thank you for the 14. Steb, thanks for the 38. Uh, Augur, thank you for the 100. Uh, Chorizoraya, thank you for the 20. Uh, Fatman 989, thank you for the 21. Joey Castle, thank you for the 4. Void Frog, thank you for the 15. Wilzer 580, gifted me subs five days ago. Fuck you. Cyber and TCG, thank you for the 25. Uh, Baki Vkiki, thank you for the Hundo. Because if Gage ever gets the lead, we are. Never going to hear the end of it. So let's go That's ahead and wheel, redeem our prize for winning last episode. And boy, are there like 500 things I want on this wheel. Let me just turn because it up a little bit. Because of what we know now about Gage's deck. And you know what? I think that is a perfect tool to counteract what Gage has cooking. Speaking of him, though, let's throw it over to him so he can tell you all about today's set, Dimension of Chaos. Oh, boy. Look, I know I punted last week's episode. I know it seems forced because Alex was going to go into the banning and remove Don't worry, some he's of going my into fun the banning cards anyway. that I haven't even gotten to play with. Rest in peace to my boy Dante. We'll have him back soon, hopefully. I know it looks bad, but do not give up on the <clears throat> age of Gage. I am still fairly confident we'll be able to reclaim it in due time. Uh, I am genuinely confident. surprised how close these games have been, though. They, they have been, been definitely close. some slobber knockers. Let's hope I've we can slobbered. carry that energy and, and that knocking. momentum into the episode today, Dimension of Chaos. I remember this set. I remember a lot of these sets back then. This is right when I was like in my last few years of high school, I think, or something like that. I didn't have much else to do. I didn't have friends. So, so all I did was play, you know, Hearthstone in my favorite right Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. That's all I did. The set brings back memories. A lot of crazy good cards that have aged super well in the set. That's Magic Specter Unicorn Kieran is still very much banned today. It's a card that a lot of people consider <clears throat> could definitely come off the list. I think it would cause some havoc. Very annoying pendulum card to deal with, honestly, bro. Could build what whole are you talking about? They just sent me a have more Kaijus released. Gamma Seal, the, probably the best one a lot of people would consider. It has the lowest attack stat on a monster, so when you give your opponent it, you could easily topple it over with just about any other Paul monster. Gage Radiant is also pretty small. That old not Gage small, he's discussion but I remember he this guy also about his high school friends. Good as far as and he was just Kaiju describing him It might not seem like much, but Vector him. Pendulum was, like, was insane. Because are you all right? Right on. True Draco Faceoff. Draco Faceoff is like a ridiculous spell that like fills both your pendulum zones or something like that, just by activating it. How many? All made brothers. possible by the fact that there was this guy Trust released. Issue. Interesting pendulum effect to negate all cards in your opponent's pendulum zones. Didn't I come up that often, laptop. but it's a pretty cool card nonetheless. Cosmo's got some crazy support to the set too, but for progression series standards, <laughs> we probably won't see it. It's locked behind higher rarity. Straw Man was an amazing way to bring back banished Cosmos, and Dark Destroyer was an detected. endgame that the deck Straw desperately Man. needed. You had a Forerunner as the Straw highest Man. ship, and all that guy did There's was no like gain life that. or something bad like that. This card uh, actually has the ability that can't be targeted by card effects, and when it's summoned it pop something. You want it Actually, down a little? Like, really hey, that's fine good. with me. And then Scarlet Red I don't want to listen to these fucking guys. Generic synchro. Um, this one actually sees a lot of Red Dragon Archfiend's a big deal. Burn standards, the 500 damage to each for your opponent monster uh, does come up. But also, this is just like a board wipe. He's not bad in general. I like him. As for commons, we're going to be looking for some of the Ignites that come in common here. That was a Season 1 staple. And the Magis Specters. I feel like we can actually build a really coherent deck just pulling a couple Cubes or Yadas, and then, you know, having one or two Kirins actually makes, like, a viable strategy. 
Oh, also plush fire. This card's insane. Plush fire big. Uh, 006 is, is big, big too. Mages. If you pop it while it's in the pendulum zone, you can trigger it and summon one from your deck. That can get like Trick Clown out the deck, and Trick Clown comes back for free. Truly, this card was absolutely insane when you pair it with other monsters. Luster Pendulum was a mainstay in every pendulum deck, uh, mm -hmm. and that would allow you to pop the plush fire, search another one, and then trigger the plush fire. Wavering Eyes in particular was also crazy with it, and it also perform a pal pendulum sorcerer which is Breakers of Shadows, which is, I think, right around the corner. Do we have that yet? This is 11-5. Bosch is such sure a crazy Breakers fucking set. Breakers of Shadows set. was 2016, so it's literally right around the corner of having some of the most broken interactions the game's ever seen. Definitely in a league of its own, there's a lot of great common cards and stuff in the set that we're looking to pull today. I got the pity packs for the first time in a while, bro. I feel like I've been on a slaughter spree. I I'm really proud of the wins that we've pulled through the last few times. Really, the Burning Abyss episode with the Musa rhythm, I feel like super geeky mm. about that. I thought that play was super mm. sick. We have Astral Pack 8. Astral Pack 8, huh? Astral Pack 8. The last of the Astral Pack series. Let me just make sure that is what it is. All right. So Gage did tell us the ads were going to be back this episode. Gage! Answer your email! 24,000! Astral Pack... Okay, so we have... He can order four times points on the Everyday Rewards credit card. And South State allows him 0% intro uh, APR. The last of the well, that's Astral crazy. Pack series. Let me just make sure that is. 0% APR is back. And fuck that. mod. Moving on to OTS packs that we all know and love today. Ather, bro. Right, so we have three Astral Packs. Let's see what we get from them. And he, I don't even know what's in this set, I'm going to be honest. Lose one turn. And the Fire Yaru. Why is this in a pack in, what, 2015? <laughs> wow. Wow. Actually, Graf's really good. Unfortunately, our man Dante is behind bars. If we could bring him back, I'm pretty sure. Did we have three? This might be our third copy. I'm stoked. That's nice. Koga is also a great Mast Hero fusion. Unfortunately, Mast Hero... Mm. Ma unfortunately, Mast Change 2, I think, is locked behind a starter deck at the moment. We don't get a reprint until, like... Got there eventually. Something. So, we might not be able, able <clears throat> to use this guy. Last pack, Astral Pack 8. Did I ever tell you I discovered a money laundering on TCG Player? This was like four years ago. But I was trying to buy purple mask changes. That's mask change with the purple lettering. And uh, there was one guy who had three of them, so I bought them. And within like three minutes, he was like, sorry, I don't have these. And took the thing down. And the next day, another person had exactly three of them. At the exact same price. And I bought them. And they one minute was like, sorry, I don't have these. This happened four times in a row. And I was like, something's going on here. But I decided not to look into it. That's a stinker. I <laughs> literally have nothing to say. It uh, let's been put it into the collection. Do. Let's get to the big stuff today. Alrighty, it is time, ladies and gentlemen. Dimension of Chaos. This is going to be a pretty interesting set, given the way these pulls go. Let's see what we get in the first pack here. And an Ultra, right off the bat, Magister Paladin, the Ascending Draco Slayer. Yeah, Very those Gradles are going to come up. I hope they play the Gradles. Decks, which Gradles are there's crazy. There's the possibility we could be doing so by the end of this episode. But uh, we got Gradle Eagle, Despot 006. Like, the commons in here are great. Another Ultra. Unfortunately, this one is terrible. It's Super Soldier Shield. Uh, for those of you who love History of Jank, we have a whole episode. Oh, yeah. Yeah. This card. DDD Wave King Caesar. Decent for Unchained, but unfortunately not going to be too useful for us. Uh, fortunately, it's though, not even high. are coming in clutch here. Mirror Conductor is really good. Ignite Veteran is decent. Cosmo Wicked Witch. Talk like, about, it's crazy talk about impact. Talk about Gradle There's Impact. Super Vector Pendulum. Again, good if we actually like can play Pendulum. It's also like randomly decent just because it, it can like negate the effects of stuff that in opposing wrong. Pendulum. Who zone. the so fuck like, is Vector kind Pendulum? Of a side deck card is he a guy? But I mean, it, like, it's probably not. I know be Luster. Well. He's around like all the time as his master who's vector he's like a third are. guy I need three perform age plush fire and i will not settle with any less send it let's see what we get D he is Burper. evil luster my man gradle impact this is actually like integral <laughs> for like those gradle decks if we want to build it and already a good start to the ignite strategy gradle slime the gradles are coming together frank and derp i can't believe people were playing this in like gold pride they recently. were like isn't that crazy and despot 06 this is the one that i think alex had to wait for the release of for everything to come together because it completes a full pendulum scale but this guy's like really good too like you can change its battle position and then also he gains attack equal to the stuff in the extra deck he's level six big for those levels with 03 that's he true just, he means business okay first super rare is gateway to chaos 
Unfortunately, mm -hmm. a super stinker, bro. This works with the BLS rituals or Gaia, and nobody's or, ever played um, those. If you played set those rotation, rituals, one. Congrats. Also, plush fire. That's what we need to see. That's what the, yeah, imagine the plush fire better deck? than the super rare. I can't believe it. Ignite veteran, my man. Oh my god, that's the third Gradle slime. We have a four. Ignite veteran. And I'm proud to be an American. That was wrong. Now. We also have a mirror conductor in that pack too. Handsome. Yes, finally. It only took us. There's 10 a plush packs fire and a Kieran. One. That's There's big. Kieran. Uh, Kieran is an absolute menace during this time, and uh, it's at three, thankfully. So if we have any pendulum-based deck, we can throw Kieran in. Uh, it's gonna just do work. And speaking of pendulum-based decks, Magic Specter Cat Nekomada. I really hope we get multiple Kieran because abusing it before it gets limited would actually be quite good. But Magic Specter is also a good yeah. in the set, and uh, they are extremely good. Unfortunately, a lot of their best cards are higher rarity, so I'm not sure if we're going to be able to pull something together with this. <clears> Man, the good cards just keep coming. Gamma wow. Seal's great. I mean, we already have a whole slew of Kaijus. You know, we asked why he doesn't use the Redoer tickets, but I think he just doesn't need them. I'm happy to is see someone going to play Psychic King Blade FTK? Uh, pretty sure this becomes important for DDDs later on down the line. I like this card, Grand Horn mm. of Heaven. I wish it was better. During your opponent's main phase, when they would special summon a monster... I played the shit out of this chain, card in you Hero. You negate the summon, and if you do destroy you were playing that like, monster, then your opponent draws You know, strikes, and, and, and the they were like, phase. why don't we also play Grand Horn of Heaven? I still wish and, it was. you know, it triggers okay, Dark Law. Yeah, first Kaiju cool. of the bunch there, Radiant joins the fray. Pot of the Forbidden. Whole bunch of good effects on one card that's unplayable. Fun card. Stop giving me slimes. <laughs> I played it in the <laughs> board, the though. Deal? There's Another a lot plush fire sick and Ignite Reload. I actually used to play this card back in the day in a deck that wasn't Ignites. I played it in like a Pendulum Soup deck, bro. It's a pretty mm -hmm. cool card, actually. Essentially, just magical. Magic. Reload's not bad. Reload Shuffle is pendulums fine. And then draws and plus one. You just can't draw anything for the rest of the turn, but that hardly mattered. Gradle Dragon. Dude, I have a full Gradle deck cooking right play now. Play Gradle. Crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> Do I expect to play them? Probably not. Dude, literally, like, I have every Gradle card. Fucking play yeah, the Gradles! They, they won't Gradle interrogate the Gradles! The Gradles is are crazy! I, it probably is not really good enough, bro. Like, literally, only the Gradle Truther thinks this deck is good. <laughs> Gamma Steel's like the best Kaiju, though. We've had two Radians, I think. This is our third plush fire to come up. Mm. But our, we have two Radians and now one Gamma Seal, which is good. They're just, like, great to have. Oh, the Super Soldier. How the many limited series have been chaos, ruined by exactly it. Gradles? Awesome, bro. And a Saber to Okay, now all the Hollows are starting to come in. I was getting worried. We started off with, like, absolutely butt cheeks. Um, I don't even think this guy's that particularly good either. As far as <laughs> it's bizarre how constructed pill they are after dog. doing this for four or years. Cat, it's so cool tiger. to be like that's a cat, right? Yeah, we played this for like uh, four years. Anyway, special man, and then, I'm trying uh, to open exactly Subterra right, Guru Control. Be, oh, this is not the card that I thought it was. I'm thinking of Tiger. Regular Tiger's the one that pops. This one's ass. Another Radiant. That's three Radiant. We're coming up on the last. Oh, few fuck packs. off! I don't know He's if I'm good. Completely satisfied with this. These seem pretty stinky. Let's keep opening. Ooh, all right, last three. Oh, Dogfighter. Um, this is actually funny enough. This, this is card an is okay not Cosmo Come card. On. During the standby phase, you can special summon a Dogfighter token, which is just a copy of itself. It's destroyed by battle, and then you can special summon a level five or lower Cosmo monster from the deck. Um, as far as ships, Dark Destroyer is definitely like the end game. Cosmo Door Fighter. Sort of feasible strategy, but like Dogfighter's okay. Watch, watch their big Dog Destroyer. Just Dog the last Fucker, huh? Here. I don't even. I don't even recall getting any like Cosmo cards. I don't even know if we have like a real deck around that. Go figure, it'd be another saber tooth again. Right. <laughs> cool. Last pack. Perfect. Wow, this was not great. Uh, this this card kind of amazing. a crappy Dark open. We could rerun with the this. Witch is a uh, ridiculous trap card. Like in most sealed environments, a lot of people think this is like a game ender. I think we're a little past that right now in progression series. Let's find out if we want to keep this. Only a few packs left, and I'm I'm gonna be honest. The last like ten packs of this opening have been miserable. There's nothing that's been worth discussing. So hopefully well, we can do a bit better. Here. Crazy. Third to last pack, painful escape is the first secret rare we have gotten, and unfortunately one of the least valuable of all the secret rares we could have pulled, but I guess it is what it is. I guess it's generic, but I, mean, I don't think that card's ever really seen much play. Second to last pack, nothing too crazy. Pendulum and Area, the, the card pack, that is weirdly uh, erotic. Like we anything good either. So nothing too spectacular. I'm going to think this one over. Yeah, looking through this, I'm definitely not happy with it. We talked a lot about yeah. like the, the higher end being really good, but also just like, how did I not get any Kieran? Like, I feel like there's a whole it's deck a somewhere in there if we could just pull one of him. I feel like we really missed with this opening, so yeah, definitely got to spend it here. We could definitely do way better. I, I I hate to throw away the whole Gradle deck, but we got to send it back. Let's hope we can exchange it for something better. 24 new packs of Dimension. <clears throat> I mean, we could chaos. also just open Let's Gradle better again. better luck this time. Bust them open. Whoa. Psy, already off to a great start, bro. We got Cyclone's that Grand great Horn card. of Heaven back. Really good. Love that card. But also, Cyclone is great for a magic. I thought Grand Horn deck. was just shorted. Removal. I like That's it. Interesting. Not too shabby.
Oh, there it is. The okay. Magic Spectre. All right, that was already good. Like I said, good. we at least needed like one of this. And okay. we can build a deck we can around play. it. It being banned fairly soon sort of helps with that. Mm -hmm. Turn a pendulum monster and Okay, I'm done with my food. We aren't even in the games the yet. That's and good. And this guy cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects like all other Magic Spectres. That is so strong. Bouncing this and an opponent's monster for an infinite loop. Just pendulum summon it back I love to turn. be bouncing with Gage. You know what I'm Ooh, saying? Oh, a painful decision. This card became so much better later in the game's history. Specifically, I use this a lot in some oh, I would be making Gage make a painful a seed decision. A seed. Why not? Pretty cool. I like this card. My, my I butter, like this card. You know what? I'm happy to add it to no, the collection. That Welcome one. home. That one. Wow, no, 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 no. This time, That's urgent not. ritual art. If you have no ritual monsters, <sighs> manage a ritual spell, and this card becomes that Soggy ritual Soggy Oreos thing. 3 the using the voice in chat. It becomes Silence! a ritual spell. Jeez, I can't believe that was a tongue twister like that. It's not very good. You don't have to worry about it. Summoning Demise, King of the Armageddon, on your opponent's turn, unfortunately, doesn't do anything. I think it was supposed to pair with, like, the Black Luster stuff, but that stuff didn't do anything anyways. Why? You can use it with Shinobirds. Uh, this again. Oh, so uh, we did get... Oh, we got Ragnarok. Gateway to chaos and we again. got Shuffle Reborn. Okay, Shuffle Reborn was shorted, right? You can't make me. Whoa, Legendary Fisherman level three. Act Man reference. Three? Just three. Just the three. Crazy card, bro. Crazy card. Not really. It's not, not anything to write home about. We're in the last four packs. The one thing I will say is we did end up getting a Kieran <laughs> this go around, which is incredibly huge. That yeah. opens up like a whole new strategy. And also, like, we ended up missing out on a lot of Yadas. I think we fully buffed out the playset of Yada and the playset of Fox. Right? Is that in here? I can see that. We did, yeah. Uh, we got How do four foxes, four look? crows. Unfortunately, we're running short a little. Our Gradles look fantastic. Oh, they're okay. Three, two, two. How's our impact? And four impact. More of those we could still play packs. Gradles. Four of them to go? No, where is he? Another Toon Barrel Dragon? I was looking for the Plush Fire. There's right, the third last Cobra. Last two. Anything big in the clothes. I'll even take Plush uh, Fire. That's a big enough card on its own. DD Burr from uh, that. Uh, last pack. <laughs> Ooh. Yama Seal. Yikes. Um, well, I mean, it's not like I have an option to reroll this again. It's going to have to be good enough. Is it better than our first opening? I don't even know. Bro. I mean, yes, I we have Kieran. The, plush ah, the one plush is really rough. <laughs> I still feel like it's good. It works. But one we'll plush is all you can play after exactly one episode. Like I said, is that I'm have JJ to be. Staple Maybe giant pearfish? Here. Fine now. It's got to go in the collection. Let's see what we're playing. I think the main things I really would like to respin for are like Gamma Seal and more Kieran. We have one and one of each, and that's fine but i mean kieran's gonna get limited and banned eventually so you like, gotta you gotta keep it this though. is but hard Gamma Seal sticks around. this is a hard one the for sure but like, like super situational depending on whatever deck we're trying to play rolling and for so multiples like, of kieran know, is such maybe a I just trap keep this maybe it's fine like everything else is like just so specific to a particular deck i think we he's got right. most of our i think he stuff. keeps his i'm his just pulse. gonna keep it let's just yeah. let's just add to the collection i'll see if i regret it later let's get to building i'm so excited to oh fuck Oh no! Oh, I thought they were using Master Rule Five. Are they using Master Rule Four? Oh no! It's Master Rule Three, but with the zones from Five. Oh my God! This is unbeatable. Season one favorite, bro. The Ignite deck, we are taking it back favorite. in battle. We Season one favorite. I don't know if I'd say that. Very, very formidable pull of Ignites to be able to put together to have the cohesive strategy. Everything that we needed from the Season slot, one right? favorite. Gallant, Squire, the Season Triple one Paladin, Triple Margrave, character. And then from this set, Veteran and Cavalier. We now have a crazy amount of names to be able to work with. We're going to just be focusing on using the Ignite's effects to destroy both in the pendulum zones add a new one hopefully fill up the extra deck and then be able shout to out to dragons draconia yeah summon, go into some xyz plays namely one of the big ones is turn one photon strike bouncer yeah is so the the five pool is actually insane deal, uh, and the six pool is not bad it doesn't destroy we have bouncer uh, we have utopia sad, beyond and for right, fives right. apparently <laughs> we have tyrios and adrius fives, right we have Andreas tyrus those are good yeah, shark fortress is great for like huge amounts of damage being pushed through same with utopia beyond being able to sink our this is so tight this deck really gets me hard Ignites with actually the Magic Spectres that we pulled. Three QB and QB one just to get Tempest. Kieran, like we I probably said, should not be playing three Tempest. I don't know why we're playing Kieran, three Tempest. That is probably a, not a good idea. Pulse every single turn, just being able to summon it back from the hand over and over again. You can even summon from this the is also players. like and then not to be a fucking asshole here. All right, not to be a fucking asshole, but. He spent all this time being like, "Oh, I don't think this deck is like where it it needs to be in terms of power level for for um." Uh, progression series and now is playing what is in essence a block constructed deck 
Like, almost every card in here is from the set they just the QB, opened. When it's summoned, it gets us a Magic Spectre Trap, and Magic Spectre Tempest is just really freaking good. It's a solemn. Negates a monster special summon or a monster effect. It is a counter trap, too. Pretty powerful. We also have just two little tech cards here, too. Archfiend Eccentric <laughs> is one cards. of my favorite pendulums of all time, being both an exiled force as well as uh, an MST. I guess that's what we call it. Right? And then this other guy, Sky Dragoons of Draconia, is actually pretty sick when he's in the Pendulum Zone. And a normal yeah, monster we control really inflicts battle damage. We can target a card on the field, destroy it. That's not once per turn Me either. Me describing so if we tech use cards. This as so our you play eccentric in a Pendulum seven, deck. Commit to a huge uh, Pendulum Summon of a couple normal dudes and just attack. Even if we can deal little points of battle damage in, we can start breaking up boards. It all looks good. I'm pretty excited. I think yeah, this will this, be able to get us a crazy. win today. This is unbeatable. I'm curious what Alex decided to make with his pulls from Dimension of Chaos. So it's nothing particularly flashy. But I still genuinely believe this is one of the best decks we have access to. And frankly, considering Deskbot 6 came out in this set, I think there's a chance Gage might play Deskbot. So I want to play this deck not only because I think it's one of the best decks we have, but also it plays Triple Fader and Triple Gores, which means we're going to insulate ourselves from just dying out of nowhere to an OTK deck. So it's battery meant. There's really not much else to discuss here. It's almost exactly the same list as we played before with a few modifications. We still have the Triple 9 Volt, the Triple Charger, the Triple Fuel Cell, only one Industrial Strength, the Triple Micro Cell, and then the aforementioned Triple Fader triple gores only two battery charger and two lands triple instant fusion triple mst triple duality greed and soul charge it's an otk deck but honestly soul charge is just too good not to play so i think it's still worth it even though we skip a battle phase this is kind of like our oh shit button then we have our triple uh, storm forth and then triple call the haunted rounding out the main 40 the extra is basically the same except with a few new uh exceeds monsters i believe so we still have dark fire panzer and thousand eyes and then we have dweller adrius castelk uh pleiades digusto emerald exiton the gauntlet launcher the 101 i put ragna zero in because again if gauge is going to play Deskbot, Ragna Zero can just clean face. Then we have uh, Black Ship of Corn, the Heartland Drago, and the Bouncer. I think Castell might be new too, because I don't think we had that the last time we played this deck. And then for the side deck, yeah, it's pretty much it the looks same. Good. We have BLS, Triple Veiler, a Grand Mole, Triple Vandy Sphine, Double Dark Hole, Double Overwork. Okay, Again, gamers, really rise and shine. Deskbot, don't so forget your booties because it's cold like out there deck. today. Uh, it's cold out there every day. What is this, Miami Beach? Not hardly. You can so expect hazardous travel later with that um that blizzard thing. That blizzard thing. Here's the report. The National Weather Service is calling for a so big blizzard thing. They really are. But there's another say, reason why today is especially like exciting. Longer, especially cold. The big question on everybody's lips on their chap lips is do you think Phil will kill himself? <laughs> All right, Gage, here we are again. Uh, somehow I managed to ensure that you were not going to uh, take the lead again for like the 500th time this series. And I know you're, you're fiending because nothing ever to just take in that lead, even series. if it's for a single episode. How, how is Dimension of Chaos for you? Dimension of Chaos was great, bro. It, it is also due to my own fault that I didn't reclaim the victory last episode. Let's not talk yeah. about the, the massive throw that I had game one or anything like that. I don't even want to relive those moments. Uh, Dimension of Chaos, though, that was a 
fun moment to relive. I actually, I was playing a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh back in this day. I'm pretty sure I was like senior year of high school or something. I didn't have friends. I didn't have anything better to do. So mm-hmm. I was just super into Yu-Gi-Oh, man. Do you remember Docs? Do you remember this? Uh, I, I do. Set? I remember. I think it was YCS San Jose was the YCS when uh, Docs came out. And man. Dark yeah. Destroyers so on the time. floor of the event, those were going for money. Those were like 200 250 a copy because they were not <laughs> easy to find. And so Play the everyone game. was trying to bring Cosmo to the uh, to the Necroz event. And uh, I'm pretty sure Cosmo like cleaned up that tournament, uh, but I had to did. go back and yeah. check the double, uh, to ensure that that was the case. I think it did too. Cosmo's one of those decks. You, I never actually remembered how good it was, bro. And people had to tell me, no, that deck won like a couple UDSs. Uh, yeah. that deck- no, that deck was not good. It's so crazy that, like, Cosmo was a really, really good and strong deck until they got the good cards. <laughs> was Several. real. Yeah. That deck was very... Yeah, I think if you show an old Yu-Gi-Oh! player Dark Can Destroyer... Can we get a Billy break on these people? The most what are they thinking about? And to be fair, Dark Which Destroyer is crap. Which RPS to break? I'm not it's not. <laughs> it's pretty crazy. I hope That's a little more any, AVGN uh, than Billy break. I, what if we got, like, AVGN back. Cadence, um, but, we'll like, uh, we'll but see. Billy break, like, like um, out the Patreon. Luna, the themes. Endless Witch. Thank you so be for like, uh, the support. Let's see what we got here. Oh, we got a little... Rock, paper, slow play, oh, man, perfect. Oh, More like oh, blow play. Okay, cool. Because okay. I'm about to blow it out my ass. All right, delicious. Yeah, buddy. Uh, things don't change. I'm going to go first. I'm going to see what I can set up. Okay. Best of luck, my best friend. of luck, duelist. Let's see what we got. <laughs> oh, God, that's so good. <laughs> good deck, Wait, dude. That's insane. <laughs> Oh, bro, you might already be out of the game just by turn one here. Let me start. Really? Let me start cooking. You'll see what I'm up to, bro. All right? We're going to start with an upstart goblin, giving you a 1,000 okay. life points in exchange for one more card from my deck. Doesn't tell me much, but that's fine. It doesn't. You'll find out the uh, the news here in a minute, though. This gameplay loop might be above my mental fortitude. <laughs> I... <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's a sub sound. I'm literally writing down to get that sub sound. Full fortitude. Uh, news here in a minute, though. This gameplay loop might be above my mental fortitude. I, uh, <laughs> this <laughs> gameplay loop might be above my mental fortitude. Um, oh my god, yeah. the way you're talking, I think I know what you're fucking up to. Yeah. Oh, I, I, no. gotta, I gotta sound it out, bro. It's like it's like you know, counting in your head how some kids have to like. <laughs> or like yeah, you're like the, the guy day. on the mat, just moving his fingers uh, all over. I love that, like, Alex is like, no, you're like the people who tap on the table while they're doing combos. And Gage is like, I'm sorry. I'm talking about something completely fucking different. I'm, I'm out of my mind. I'm always counting, trying to figure everything out. I'm counting out. the months between my fingers and knuckles. I'm- <laughs> He's so good. Alex is like, let's bring it back to something normal. And he's like, you ever be like... When you, you're picking right and left, you do this, and the one that's L is left, and the other one is the right. <laughs> All right. All right, man. Uh, let, let's get started. I'm going to start with- Show uh, me the Ignite. Yeah, Ignite Squire. Yeah, okay. I had a feeling that this could be coming. Yeah, okay. I'll you're pair good. with the Ignite Gallant, bro. And then I'll yeah, use the effects. We'll extra deck both of them, pick up another from the deck. I saw we got the rest of the card beneath me is for fuel this, cell, this set, Mr. And I was curious what your pool is looking like, but here we are. Uh, it's looking very good. Do you guys bro. think you could <laughs> convince Gage he has cancer with his hand size? Strong. I almost I guarantee to, that to we could get him with it. To be okay. able to play. All right, I'm going to pick up an Ignite Veteran from Deck to Hand here. Sure. We'll go <clears> scale. <throat> scale. Yeah. Yep. And I'll use the effect. We'll uh, pop both of those. I mean, we kind of do win the game, though, right? Like, not going to be. This is going to look so weird bro but it, it probably is the right play i'm going to add another no i'm gonna add ignite margrave here from deck to hand sure yep. she is just serving as the purpose of big oh, she's scale. serving all I'm right i'm going to activate kieran and i'm going to oh. activate uh margrave here okay. all right I, i'm going to pendulum summon bro keep in mind the extra deck monster zone doesn't exist so <laughs> <laughs> Correct. This is MR3, even though we're playing with an MR5 board. Yeah. But honestly, it should have been this way from the get-go. So get your guys out. All right, I'm going to summon two sixes, and I'm going to put the... I'll just put the rest of the cards on the field. There's literally no reason not to. May as well. All right, loading up. We're going to take these two, and I'm going to overlay them. I'm going to make... What are we making? Photon Shrike Bouncer. Strike. He's a lad. He's, he is a lad, bro. Uh, I'm going to set one 
additional Yu-Gi-Oh card. What the fuck and could I, be the scenario like where bad. we had to, uh, I'll just pass to you, scale but, Kiri? Yeah, I, you know, Gage, let me ask you a question. Uh, you talked about throwing games earlier in this episode. Are you going to be throwing anything else hey, here dude. when you uh, flip this card by... Skip to the next one, honestly. Chance? <laughs> no, no, no. This is the this is a pretty good card in the back row here. We'll just hold on to it for a minute. Oh, okay. still plenty of we'll... still plenty of time to to throw the game. Don't worry, Alex. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see if that is in fact the case. All right. Well, this is gonna force a response out of you, so I'm gonna activate Stormforth. Oh no! <laughs> no. My photon strike bouncer! I put so much effort into making him. God, bro, that's so that's so unfortunate. But it is fine. Okay, that's good. No response. No, no response. I'm actually shocked. Yeah, no response. Okay. Uh, yeah, get your strike bouncer out of here. Fuck. Yeah. Him. All right. See ya. It's Charger. Oh, the boy. Okay. All right. I'm down for it. Effect's good. Effect's fine. Awesome. Yeah. All right. I I did not think we'd get this <laughs> far. I'll try for a nine. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Uh, let's get ourselves even get here? a. Fuel cell. Yep. <clears throat> Do we just uh, have We lethal? will go for fuel cell number one. Sure. You got another one too? And that may shock yeah, you, number yeah. two. <laughs> All right, this is fine. I'm still not dead. You're not no, dead. Yeah, you're dead. Not dead. Yeah, you're not dead here. So that's kind of the annoying part of this whole thing, but you still have a back row. Now I don't know what this is. I'm gonna be completely <laughs> honest. So if we go because like you would have flipped up, I guess I should bounce fix one. These like you would have flipped the, the card I thought go. it was. Oh, we can't, we can't get it. to a position where we can summon right and away, activate huh? industrial. What, what, what do you think that is? One that I am not prepared to answer because I do not know the answer to it. Uh, fuck it. I don't fear anything. Battle. Okay. Yeah. All right. Charger in. Uh, yes. I will take six hundred here. Uh, goes to extra deck and fuel cell. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're good. All right. There we go. Both I mean, it back benefits me if it's in the graveyard for what it's worth. But uh, we'll go 2021. I'll take both, yeah. All right, so you get your guys back, but they don't really do anything. They're just dudes. Okay, so we can Second make. Main, I mean, we can make our I own bouncer here if we want. Deck for storm fourth. Oh right. And pass and let these fuel cells just chill. Nine volt will die. No point to like bounce anything. Yeah, I guess I'll just go to end phase. Uh, we'll let this thing blow up. All right. Go to twenty seven. Uh, anything? Yeah. No, this is all good. Go ahead. All right, give me a good draw off the top, bro. One good draw, and I'm, I'm, I am actually win this game. Draw. Oh, that is a good draw. Okay. That's a good draw? <laughs> it's, it's a good one. Okay. All right. I'm going to start by activating new card that I pulled today, man. I love this card. I'm going to activate Painful Decision. Oh, oh nice. No! Okay, sure. Yeah, four or lower. A little bit restrictive, but there's there's boys that fit the bill. I'll let um, you know, I pulled Painful Escape as one of my uh, super rare. So <laughs> not, the, not the good one. Not the good this one. Fucking not game. quite yeah, go ahead. We're dead right, to industrial. I'm going to uh, <laughs> dump an Ignite Paladin. I'm going to add another one. He's going to dump? Sure. Okay, Margrave, All right, man, The face down back row you were so scared about. You're about to see it right now. It's Wavering Eyes. I'm going to activate Wavering Eyes. It's Wavering <laughs> Eyes. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm <laughs> going to put to the extra deck both my Pendulum Monsters. You're going to take 500. That and I will. I'm going to add any Pendulum Monster from my deck to my hand. Mm -hmm. The possibilities are endless. Um, well, I imagine you're going to be taking a card that completes your Pendulum scale. Yeah, yeah. It, well, they're not endless. So they're, they're, they're anything with a big seven. <laughs> they're anything that's but a, endless, if that's anything the case. The possibilities seven. have I ended. this is the pick, bro. This guy's kind of tough. Let me see if this is exactly who I want before I commit. Ew, why is that so weird? Wait, <laughs> hold on, bro. It still probably is the right choice. Oh. All right, uh, I'm going to add from deck to hand. I'm going to pick up an Ignite Veteran here. Yep. Sure. Let's okay. get a high scale. Yep. We'll scale it up. Scale it up. Go for it. In the biggest pendulum summon known to man. Let's My boy go. Kieran. One. Summon a couple fives Two. here. You're going to bring out that uh, that three, three while you're I, at I, it with I zero am, attack? Bro. You know I'm going to bring him out because he's that Kieran food. He's the easiest that bouncer. Is Kieran he is food. the Kieran that food. Kieran food. Yep. Okay. In fact, I think um, we're doing it now. The real question is... is uh, no, we don't Kieran because we want all No, we want all these guys give dead. You fuel cell. I don't, I don't want to give you... I don't want to give you any tribute fodder funny enough that's like what i'm scared of understandably that's sort of how i win the game yeah oh i think i'm going to overlay the two fives we're gonna make tiris the keeper yeah. of tiris Genesis. just fucking i feel like she'll right. be able to to keep the board <laughs> on lock here uh yeah, you're trying to clean up here i like. am going to use kieran i'm going to bounce the squire to my hand and i will bounce i'll bounce <clears throat> the fuel cell why not i was gonna say there's no universe you give me the charge yeah back. yeah no um I will just go battle phase, and I'll attack and kill the fuel cell. We'll take five. Uh-huh. 
and then at the end of the battle phase, I will use Tiris, and I will pop the. Trigger. Had to be a better way to sure. do this. Okay. Uh, main phase two, I will utilize the ignites in my scale. Pop both of them. I'll add another one here. Sure. I'm gonna pick up a, another paladin out the deck here. Mm -hmm. Sure. So Just I normal the paladin. Three and a four. Yeah, I've got low high again. Low high. Which are scales? Low high. From there, just I'm em. just going to go to the end phase. Yeah, have no to reason to wait. For the tears, and I'll pass turn. Whoa, right, played around industrial. Right. He's kind of cracked with it. Wow, turn, instant fusion does like right hot not nothing that bad, here so either. Good. Your next turn, what do you do? Wait, he's like scales, pretty. Wait, you got guys, I close to die. Wait, Gage is pretty cute. <laughs> what? I, I love that description. Like of the turn. You got cute some scales, funny. some guys. Yeah, I mean, that's 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 the game plan. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I guess I just pass. Ooh. Oh, what? <laughs> what? He's, he's That's the play, phases. Alex. You, you have gores or something. Like you have to have something to not get oh, you. Well, out so of the thing here is like out, Kieran actually by deals me. with okay. Fader, right? I, I mean, it doesn't deal with it, but it gets game. it off the I, field. You know how I get, bro. <laughs> yeah, you're not talking so hot now, are you? <laughs> not that I don't have plays, Alex. I've, I've got actually too many of them. Now that I now that I have the read that you have gores, I'm trying to find the most effective option to to get through it. I think I have it. I think I have it. Okay. All right. Okay. No, that's easy. That's easy. Yeah. Okay. Cool. I'm going to start by activating Ignite Paladin. Mm -hmm. I already knew about that guy. You also knew about his buddy, Ignite Squire. Mm -hmm. I did. Uh, I'm going to use the effect. Pick up another Ignite dude from the deck. Need a low scale, low scale. Uh, I'll pick up Ignite Cavalier here. Oh. Okay. Uh, we'll scale low, scale high. Yep. I will... Pendulum summon. Surely we wanted Two to keep fours. that Margrave. Oh, no. We're going for a four. And I'll also bring out the six. <laughs> not in sure. defense. I'm going <laughs> to overlay these two. I'm going to make Ragna zero. Okay. Dude puts in work against the token. So let's go battle phase. Rag is kind of crazy. I'll start with 13. I'll just fade her. Oh, it, okay. <laughs> It's not the one that I. <laughs> uh, it's not the one that I thought. That's fine. I should still be able to be okay. Um, main phase two. Man, that bro, look at this dumbass Tiris. <laughs> not doing a single thing during the battle phase, and it's still gonna fucking go like detach its last material. Yep. Great card. Great, Great card. card, by the way. Love it. Love it. All right, I'm gonna use um, Kieran. Sure. I'm gonna bounce the veteran, and I'm gonna just remove from play this battle feeder. He's yep. he's uh, actually playing really play. nice. I he is not playing bad. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Use my scales again. Pop pop. He is doing. He is not doing scale. bad I'll here. Pick up Gallic. Holy shit. Sure. He I'll is thinking. All right, I'll draw. Oh, nice Goodbye draw. Oh, that's oh, actually I'm kind of a problem in general. Yeah, detach for Tiris. Yeah, I mean, that was yeah, happening no matter what. Yes. Now this dude can be, um... Oh, he, he, now it's just a vanilla. <laughs> now it's just a vanilla. Yep, yeah, now it's just a vanilla. Was... Okay. Let's deal with Ragna plus Kieran. Kind of annoying. Very annoying for your deck too, bro. Unless you have that Stormforth tucked away again. I know your hand is low high. Right? Yes, low high. A veteran and okay. gallant. Yeah, that's all I need to know. Okay. This is slightly annoying the way that this works out. All right, we're gonna send it instant fusion. Oh my! Yes, the instant fusion's fine. Uh, Ooh, and you have to take rag. Fine. I mean, yeah, his summon's fine. Uh, Would you like to do anything before priorities back to me? Yeah, I think so. I figured. What's the worst case scenario? You take my guy and you tribute it, and I'm like, <laughs> it. like, yeah. Now you're putting it together. <laughs> yeah, I guess we'll, I'm gonna have to Kieran it back. So sure, I'll Kieran bounce itself and put your thousand extra shit back. Yeah. Yep, it's back. Okay. Well, I guess that sort of did what I wanted. Now comes the tough part. And your hands, Kieran plus <laughs> Kieran veteran low gallon. high. Yeah, veteran low high gallon. Kieran. Thank you. Appreciate it. That'd be a better way to do this. I'm just going to set one and pass. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. You are... Man, you would, you, you better not have another battle fader. We're going to fight. Uh, draw for turn. <laughs> yeah, draw Stand by, main. Yep. I don't think it's like mirror force. <laughs> I don't know if that shocks you that I don't think that's what it is. Um, let's go... I'll start by normal summoning QB, and I'll use its effect. Wow. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah, this is the second leg of my deck you finally get to see. That's not well, just I mean, Kieran, which would be, like, super respectable, but we're also playing Magic Specters. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm going to pick up Tempest from the deck. I'll scale low high. Uh, so your hand is Kieran plus Tempest. Kieran Tempest, yep. Yeah. 
Uh, I am gonna space your high scale. Okay. Sure, I do not have Uh-oh. any quarrels with that. I'll just go battle phase. Sure. QB? Yeah. Um, <clears throat> go ahead. All right, uh, I'll draw. Stand by main. All right, what do we have to do here now? You have to make uh, industrial strength. We have strength. a Ragnar. Yeah, industrial strength Cirrus baits out the back nothing. row, but you have to do like it. You don't have an option. Itself. No, it doesn't. Okay. No, it, it doesn't. Just, it just doesn't do anything. It's just a vanilla. Okay. Yep. Tempest is when a monster would be special summoned or an effect is activated, right? Yeah, it's black horn or when an effect would be activated. Yeah, gotcha. tribute a okay. wind spellcaster, negate the summon or activation and destroy the card. Here's what I think we're going to do. I'm going to tribute off this fader for the fuel cell that you know about. Yeah. Oh, this is I'm rough because you can attack the QB. Yep. Just hit over the QB for six. Yes, that that goes to extra deck. Uh, yes, that's fine. Okay. Uh, second main now. I'm gonna banish industrial some bros. Strength. Oh man. Or Those are two light bros. Strength. Oh my god, that card. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I was like, now you can see light. why this was awkward because yeah. Tyrus is 26. So god I was just damn, like, bro. this is kind of frustrating the way that this was working out. Um. So, but I have to deal with it. Okay. Um. So we are gonna fire this industrial strength. I'm just trying to decide what I want to pop here. I'm you have, you to, have to pop this, the Tempest. Uh, nine bolt out of my grave to do this, unfortunately. I guess you don't have to, so, but you probably should. It's awkward because I have to do a monster and a Speller Trap. It's like Tempest isn't doing shit right now. So I'm tempted to go after your Gallet just so you have no scales. Uh, you could draw Tempest into is dead. scales, but well, then no, we're just gonna is summon scaled, Kieran. so I don't really care about that. But unfortunately, then like you can like set up QB. Tyrus is we just the only thing contesting industrial strength right now, so I feel like I have to take that out and leave your Ragna up, unfortunately. Ragna hits over fuel cell. I genuinely don't care. So we're definitely going for Tyrus for the monster. I'm just deciding on the back row, like the worst case sure. scenario is. So if you get a scale seven, no matter what, you have scales, and then you can bring back some probably, guys and make some plays with that. Uh, you get a two scale, you then probably you're just doing nothing, pop which is the, the best case scale. I think Kieran makes it like infinitely harder for me to win this game. So I actually I get the seven scale anyway. The thing is back online regardless. Just take care of it now. I think dealing with Kieran is worse than dealing with the trap. So I'm gonna I'm gonna pop the gallant. Okay, sure. So this goes extra, and tears goes grave. Okay. Yep. Uh, and then I'll set one and throw it to you. Okay, I will draw. We have Stand no targets for call main. currently. Yep. Okay, well, I mean, obviously we're going to start by going battle phase. Sure. I'm going to Walk attack over the fuel, over the fuel cell. cell. I'll take three. Main phase two. This is rather funny because you did forget the, the secret move for Magic Specter Kieran. Bro. He's going to do it. You're going to you tribute it? <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm going to tribute I mean, if you tribute Kieran. Kieran, I'm also kind of okay with that. I'll be honest <laughs> with you. <laughs> is that good? I'm guessing that's yeah, fine. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, I'm going to use the Kieran. I'm going to put back your industrial strength. Sure. Right. Uh, I ain't got anything going on for me. We're dead. You know, uh, we're bro. fucking dead. <laughs> we're so dead. You. Go ahead. No! Yeah. I may as well put a clock on you. Uh, call the haunted. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, that's good. Yeah. 21. Okay. Yeah. Damn. All right. Any, any scale. What do you got? Draw. Oh, that's the best draw on my deck. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's, that's that's the end of the game. I'm huh? going to uh, scale QB. Oh. And I'm going to scale Veteran. Sure. Oh. <laughs> yes, yes, we completed the scales. Uh, I will Pendulum Summon fucking everything. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> summon this guy, this guy. Is it the end this of the game? This guy, this guy, biggest last guy I have here, bro. Uh, just I fucking another QB, I guess, and then sure. QB effect. Yep. Pick up another. Get the tempest. second tempest. I mean, we're still gonna win. We still win here, uh, bro. You have another fader. I'm going to. <laughs> uh, no, wait, it doesn't matter. I have tempest. I was gonna say I'm gonna punch you in the fucking throat. Like <laughs> we we do have another um, fader. Don't let's not go for the sexy play. Um, we're gonna overlay these two. Andreas. Mm. Maybe wait wait wait. I'm sorry. Hold on. Now I gotta do math. If you do have fucking fader. Because I can beat it. I can for sure beat it. Attack here. Calculator, assist me. Um, 21. Please don't overcommit and leave Unicorn offline. No Unicorn's never uh, offline. <laughs> no way I don't have game through a fader. I mean, Gage, what are the I mean, You have two Tempests. Have you, you're, it's fine. Gone. You're okay. I, I guess it's not high. I, I, I guess that I'm just overthinking wrong. it. I don't think I lose this game anyways. So we will overlay these two. I'm mm. going to make the uh, Andreas... Keeper of Boundaries. Cool card. Or, or Armageddon. Keeper of Boundaries. That's uh. That's the that's I, Armades. <laughs> Armades. That's the guy. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna use Andreas to pop the fuel cell. Sure. And then um, 
Oh, wait, do I have anything to bounce? It's it? crazy. This oh, card is like just so okay. good, so and so yeah, good has seen like historically, yeah, like right. next okay, to zero. So I'll play. go battle phase. He was in um, extra decks a lot, 15. but I, uh, it's weird. Uh, it's not like he lethal? showed up often. I'm assuming it is. This is extreme lethal if if this goes through. Even if this goes through and you activate Gores, the Tempest still beats it. It's crazy because I do have the fader, but you have exact lethal. My math is right. Oh my god! Let's go! Because yep. this is 241 <laughs> 67. Yes. Yep, you got it. Oh man, okay. Oh, Thank my god. God. Holy! Maybe I should have popped the Tempest. Maybe that I was, was so hey, annoying. God, bro. That was god. so annoying! So close, yet so far. <laughs> so I don't know. I'm going to be looking back at man. that one because that one felt winnable, but unfortunately, I guess I just wasn't able to I'm close not, it out. I'm gonna go not second. to be a fucking asshole. Gage played that I mean, so hey, well. I'm familiar he with legitimately played that are, so good. So I would hope so. Oh, oh nice some, deck. Uh, Monarch Storm Fortress. Nice deck. Starting off strong, though, I am the greediest guy around, bro. I'll take you two. are. Actually, That's you know fine. what? Do we even start with this? He no, said, no, I, I want to draw Judging better cards. I'm going to ignite started. myself first. Hold on. Let me play a little bit. Let me cook, if you will. I'm going to start with Gallant, and I'll also stick the Cavalier. Sure. I'll pop them both. Just want to get some dudes out of the deck first. Just get some dudes out the deck. Increase my draws to be better. I'm trying this, to get some I'm dudes in the deck. You know what I'm saying? Veteran out of the deck. To be fair, drawing two Ignites is still pretty good. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> it's a pretty above average. Let's go Margrave. And veteran, I'm gonna pop both sure. of those. Yep. High scale. Yeah, this is this is gonna be a problem. Sky. I don't even know what you ban. There's just too many sure. ignites. Uh, I'll activate that pot of greed that you saw. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, it's fine. All right, two cards. Kieran, maybe. Oh, goodness gracious, bro. That's <laughs> how, is that, how is this fair? Um, I'm trying to get my deck in <laughs> no some way. dudes. This user is All a right, lesbian. Up no one Paladin. I know. Talks about how much they squire. like fucking men. I'm gonna pop those. The way idiots. the lesbians. Do. I'm going to. It's pick crazy. Up out of the deck, another paladin. Sure. <laughs> so many, so many up. lesbians I know are always like, Gallant, "Man, I'm trying to fuck a dude." Paladin. <laughs> oh no, no, you're still going. I'm still going, bro. We're gonna use those. Yep. Just using all. I've of been them. in the hills. Another two out the deck. I'll grab Gallant. All right, these are gonna be your scales, I imagine. You're yes, lesbian now, too, right? No, no, no. Now we no, no. the pendulum scale. Now I'm with not. Every I'm not Drake. My extra deck. The real <laughs> question is, bro, what do I? I, I I, I'm not, ooh, Actually, you know I, what? Melty Dreams, you are the correct. Play I, the I can the think number of, one group of people who right. talks about I'm how much they want to fuck dudes is straight guys. Some bros putting the bros on the field. Oh, they I'm trying to put the bros on the field. Because, like the probability that you have the Monarch Storm Fourth to take care of any X Y Z is fucking is, is pretty high, right? <laughs> Mm -hmm. So if I just put some guys on the table and then yeah, you, put some guys on the table, bit, game, and then the next turn do it again. Yeah, it feels like the right play. You got anything to say about that? Any insight? No, I'm, <laughs> I'm just I'm just hearing you out. I'm just hearing you out, letting you talk, letting you cook. I just uh, yeah, I was hoping you'd say something. Um, I'm just gonna do that, bro. I think that's the right play. I'm gonna pendulum okay. summon. We'll go for him. Gage would be such a funny gay guy. We'll go for him. <laughs> We'll go for... Oh, my God. Pretty sure that's a her. The robots are <laughs> probably it's. Um, <laughs> Me at the function. I want to uh, summon that. Look at you being inclusive. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh, I'll also summon He said, look at you bro. being look inclusive. At level under sure. the sun. Margrave make, is a woman. Bouncer, friggin' Tyrus, and then lose it all the next Wait, year. no. So cool. <laughs> no, he's not. Uh, I was like, Margrave's a woman. The flavor text refers gonna, to I'm a her. Stick with nope, I think was it best. does not. I'm just going to... Uh, Put them all in defense, actually. I'm just going to pass turn. Right. <laughs> Good luck. Okay. Let me see what you Good do. Good luck. You got Dark nice Hole deck. plus Charger. Fucking Dark Hole this. I, I, dark Hole this I'll, I'll, nothing I'll board we can summon <laughs> back. <laughs> I mean, I could. I'll just pass. What do you Oh, <laughs> then now we're doing this. Okay, I'll draw. Stand by main. All right. Well, now I got to beat Gore's Fader. What cards do that, bro? What cards do that? Nothing at the moment. I hate this. <laughs> Isn't so it astonishing how we're, out. like, this far past these cards, and there still isn't, like, a super clean answer? Yeah. All right. I'm going to switch some dudes to attack. Sure. It's not enough for lethal, buddy. Keep counting. <laughs> yeah, I, I can count, bro. <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll, we'll put them all to attack, and then I'll, sure. I'll activate Ignition Phoenix. Oh, oh okay. Sure. Yeah. I just cool. did, They're all 300 boosted. Just show me the fader, I guess. Uh, I'll start. I will go small to big. So. I'll show you the fader. Yeah, you yeah. got it. <laughs> Okay, I guess I'll be damned if you have it. I'm just going to overlay these. I'm going to make Audreas. He's he's doing the right thing here, just keeping guys off it, yeah. field. 
is sure. that's good. Okay, I'm just gonna actually activate Ignition Phoenix. I'm gonna pop the veteran on the field. Yep. Yeah. And I'm adding another Ignite right. card. Sure. And I think it's probably uh, also worth a, popping the I'll back row, just like getting the scales in hand. Sure. It's a little I'm strange because you're not that. playing around anything. I'll draw. Yeah. Stand by me. Yep. Uh, you did sniff it out. I did have the dark hole. Okay, so it didn't matter what I did there. It was all <laughs> going back. This is an interesting one. So what I imagine he's gonna do is to. Okay. Normal uh, nine we'll volt. Go, nine go grab volt. the sure. charger. This is a, get our trusty charger. Set call main, and just yep. hope he doesn't 2K. die. Yeah, I'll take it. And then second main, I'm gonna set myself one card face down and nine volt goes over to you. Draw for turn. Stand by main. Yep. All right, bro. Uh, I'm gonna use the squire effect. I'm gonna pop two. Sure. Oops. Not that. I will add from my deck to hand a, another cavalier. Sure. It's kind of weird. Um, big attack go. stat. Yeah, the huge attack stat. Beefy. Uh, I'm going to scale the Cavalier, and then I'm going to pop it with Ignition right. Phoenix. Sure. I'm there is a way we a win paladin. just by virtue of... All right, we'll scale up Paladin, and I'll scale up Making Ragna Squire. Zero, which yep. contests I'm going Volt. to Pendulum Summon. See what you got. One, two, three, mm -hmm. four, Where'd and you for guys? five. Do you have anything? Nope. Okay, uh, I'm just going to go battle phase. Fader, number two. Thinking. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, call the haunted target nine volt. Oh, that's it? Yeah, that's fine. Nine volt. Sure. Do we live this? Oh, my God. Oh, Add a fuel cell. <sighs> my replay goes away. Um, that's okay. I'll go 24 with So I take Gallon. four here. Yep. I'll go 24 with Gallon. If I did the math right, I should have a hundred left. No 24. shot. That's oh! <laughs> Fuck you, bro. <laughs> um, <laughs> I still have to win. Okay, this is where's not my be Gaga easy. Cowboy, bro? How is, nobody's pulled this this season. You what don't even have fours on the field, and you're complaining about Cowboy. I would find a way. All right, I'm gonna Make overlay. Make your fucking strike bouncer. I already know what you're gonna make. Yeah, you know what it also does? It deals burn damage. So let's it does. hope you That's have exactly that storm why you're gonna make it. Let's, yeah. let's hope you have that storm force keeping you alive, bro. Go ahead. Okay, you know There's what? I do also. have the storm. Ah, you fucking you piece of shit. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, Charger, we're dead. yeah, we're dead. We're right. dead okay, we are you're so dead. cool. We're actually, right, we're dead on board. Uh, we're dead on board. Strength. Holy oh, fuck. Guy. Just one little short, unfortunately. It, well, we got we got fuel cell. Okay, that, yep. yep. Second fuel cell. Yep. I guess I should change the stats on these guys. <laughs> okay. We're dead on board. Okay, so we're going to go here. Now we're going to go fuel cell, sack 9 volt, bounce cavalier. Okay, so I'll put this cavalier to hand. Other fuel cell, sack the fuel cell we already used, bounce gallant. Okay. Uh, this one will also go to hand. Yeah, Ragna Zero would have gone crazy. Banish, here. banish for industrial strength. Mm. <laughs> this is at 27. And then banish mm. fuel cell, pop paladin squire. And I think this is lethal. Bro. <laughs> Wavering eyes would have won this. Dude, man. I could have... Oh my god, can I see the rest of your hand before this? I had It was another storm forth and it was a gores. I just drew for oh, turn. Oh you or drew like it for the turn, turn after or something. I just drew yeah, I just drew it Dude, for turn round. I, I literally 100. just had to yeah. pendulum summon this stupid cavalier from hand. I had it in hand and I was just like, I think this is enough if I just summon <laughs> Paladin. It wasn't. I'm so upset. Oh man! All right. Oh well, I guess we'll go into game God. three. Oh my God! I gotta shit. stop punting games. <laughs> I gotta stop <laughs> punting games. Look, I, I can't believe you're the one that did the math and I didn't. I just kind of trusted that it was enough. You, you make, you I mean, make. What, it was a hundred off. Right. Okay, Brainiac. Most people would just be yeah. like, oh, that's good enough. Will, will we get Will we get <laughs> a duel? I, not you. Will, we, will we get a duel where Alex does not open Stormforce? if you actually had not attacked with that Crusader first or whatever that level four guy was, you would have been able to kill me because your replay would have killed nine volts. Yeah. Everything else uh, yeah, was over. Yeah, the rough, the rough part here is um, if we had attacked differently, it would have worked, but he was playing around, I think, Gore's MST. But, like, we should have known it wasn't MST.
And probably wasn't in the right headspace to be like, I actually even have an out to Gores by crashing the Cavalier because of the field spell. Over 2,000. So, like, just the habit of playing around Gores in that case worked in my favor, but barely. Just yeah, barely. yeah, damn. All right, well, I, this time I won't let it happen for game three, bro. I will start, okay? All right, and I'm going to cry. Let's All right, man. All right, that is a great opening grip. Okay, I'll go good stand thing we by main, and uh, we'll get it. We'll get it cracking. Uh, I'll start with Paladin and Margrave. Yep, seen these before. Mm -hmm. Extra deck both of those ones. I will grab a Gallant from the deck. Yep. Uh, I'm going to activate Upstart Goblin. I'll take one extra card here, and I'll take a thousand. Okay. Maybe that'll help me live by a hundred. <laughs> right? What top deck wins here? You know what fucking top Squire deck wins here. And Gallant, you know what top deck wins here, asshole. Ooh, okay. Top deck wins oh, here. QB. Ew. QB, right. and I'll put some dudes onto the table. Just what top deck wins here? Stormforth. No, Stormforth is on the top of the deck. Sure. We all know Stormforth is on the Magic top Spectre of the deck. Tempest? We don't even need to talk about it. It's going to be annoying. Yep. Could be anything. Literally anything. <laughs> um, I'll just pass. Go ahead. Not happy about it. I'll draw. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh my God. I really want to see going into game three. I'm just <laughs> Oh, no. No. I'll draw. Oh, no. That's a good draw, too. Okay, I'll go stand by main. I'm going to use the uh, the Squire here. Sure. Extra decking both of these cards. I'll pick up. I'll grab a Cavalier here. Sure. What are you setting, Alex? Microcell? Yes. That's what it has to be. There are no XYZ monsters that deal with a face down. You gotta be kidding me, bro. <laughs> There's Pappy. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Isn't that wild? Why, why is Castell shuffle face up? Why is Andreas pop face up, bro? He should. He could pop. He should be able to pop anything. He's not that good. <laughs> it really puts in perspective how ahead of dark, how ahead of its time Dark End Dragon. Yeah, was yeah, back right. In the, oh back God. in the old days, <laughs> you should have an out. I don't know if you have it in your extra deck though. What are you thinking? The but AI I is? believe if I know your card pool, you should have one. What 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 rank would it be under? It would be rank four. I can assure you, I don't have it this time. <laughs> oh, maybe you don't have it Happy. this week then. Maybe you don't have it. What this was week. it? I, I I don't actually know. Um, so didn't if, you pull a diamond dire? Oh no, I did, but I, I, I wouldn't be playing him. That's like super expensive <laughs> to get rid of that card. You wanted it out to a set monster. I gave it. <laughs> yeah, to you. I guess you did, right? Is it gonna be microcell? Is that the read that I have? So what? Do, what are you gonna do? You're gonna go that. You're gonna summon nine volt. All right, man. It's time to tussle. <laughs> I'm gonna go battle phase. That's I'm going so to attack with QB into the phase down here. He's surprise. Oh. It's microcell. Oh, are you using it? I would like to. I think it might be mandatory. It, it, uh, it, it's a flip effect, so yes, it is mandatory. <laughs> okay, so yeah, um, I'll use the uh, the tempest effect here. Yeah, I'll tribute the QB, negate and destroy, really and then yep. fourteen. Sure. Thinking on fifteen. And there's no reason to. I'm not gonna attack for fifteen. That's fine. Got him. Uh, main phase two. I'll scale veteran cavalier. Sure. And what I'll are you doing? He's it. resetting uh, the tempest. What do you mean? This, what is he doing? I'll go gallant. And I'll go QB again, and I'll use QB's effect. Oh my god, he's so, so smart. Pick up another tempest? He's so cute and funny! Yep. Holy I'm shit! Pass here. He's so cute and Bro. funny. Ooh, Fuck! And I will draw two more, apparently. <laughs> okay, could be anything. Oh my god. Right. Okay. I, I'm, I'm waiting on that Stormforth, QB baby. Tempest? It's kind of annoying. You don't just have to beat Tempest. You also have to beat all the Ignite Bros, bro. All the guys. <clears throat> the dudes. It's true. I don't believe I know the last card. I think if you instant you fusion, don't. you well, don't Tempest. This game's about to get really weird real quick. Uh, I'm in a battery charger. Okay. Sure. <laughs> like, yeah. Bring back micro cells. Okay. I'm intrigued. Sack for vanity scene. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, this game's about to get real weird. Okay, yeah. Tack over Margrave specifically. Yeah, that's going to have to be fine. Uh, I'll take 900. Yep. And this will go to extra deck. Okay. Uh, go. Fascinating. Uh, <laughs> right? Uh, this is, draw. like, that's what I mean. It's like <laughs> um, I'll start by using Reinforcement of the Army. Sure. I haven't seen that all match. Yeah. You're right. fucking exiled force. <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> kind of crazy, huh? <laughs> Hope you have a DD warrior lady in that deck. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I think off this, I'm going to finally pick up Ignite Paladin. Sure. Guess I'm just throwing this in defense and, uh... Just pass and turn. Go go ahead. All right. Draw standby main. Are we out of Cavalier? 
Uh, as much as I wish I could, like, up this clock on you, I'm not sure if I can. Go battle. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to take out the QB. Okay. Second main, I'm going to set one, throw it to you. Okay, I'll draw. All right, man. Um, I was hoping you would put an extra card on the table because it makes this decision a lot easier. Uh, I'll start with Dark Hole. Oh. That oh, the value. Got me a micro cell. Nice. Cool. Free little pickup there. These will go to extra deck. Unfortunately. They won't he be literally was just like, I'm um, going to wait a turn. I think veteran. I can get a better Dark Hole. Extra deck bees. What do we have? What's the spread here? A couple fives, a couple sixes. Yeah, a little bit of everything. Well, you know a little bit of everything. A little bit of... A little bit of everything. I'm going to pick up Margrave from that the deck. That was wrong. So, and I'm going to scale Paladin, Margrave, and I'm going to pop both of those. Yep. I'm going to pick up Squire from the deck. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go Gallant, Squire. We're all in. Yes, I'm going to Pendulum Summon. We'll go QB, of course. Got to have the, the Tempest lock. We are out of um, Tempests. And then we'll go Cavalier, Gallant... This is still lethal, I think, even though I picked, like, the worst names of the bunch. <laughs> Margrave, and I guess, uh, oh, that's Veteran. Six. Damn, those yeah. guys look super raggedy, bro. I, I did pick the worst. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, I can beat one of them. I can beat Battle Fader or Gores. I can't beat both. So we'll go Battle Phase, QB, direct. He says Not it. Fader. He says it like he knows. That's the one I have to negate with this. So we'll tribute this. Negate. I wonder if this, uh, let's go to Grave. I think it does. It says so destroy it the card. The it's, yeah, so I think yeah, it actually so. goes to grave. Yeah. Uh, right. 13, direct. Lots of damage, yep. 15, direct. Yep. 21, direct. Yep, I do have gores. Gee, oh, okay, on the 21, <laughs> I see. Okay. <laughs> he was so excited to say it, too. I imagine I was, I take was. out the token okay. with Cavalier. Uh, yeah, kill the token with the Cavalier. We go main phase two. We could still die. We'll, uh, we'll make some exceeds here. I'll you know what's annoying? We could fives. still die. I'm going to put them into Adreus. See you, Gores. Yep. Now, the real question is, do I even bother to make Photon Strike, Bouncer? I don't it's think you have so anything well going for you. It's worked so well for you the <laughs> other two games you did that. <laughs> I don't think you have anything going on for you, but I am going to make it. We're yes, gonna go okay, thank God. Strike Literally, Bouncer, bro. we're going to get Stormforth. <laughs> Your move. Go ahead. Don't you do it. I'll draw. Oh, thank God. No me. way you have the perfect combo. No I way mean, you have. I mean, this is still Storm pretty goddamn good. Charger for like the third game in a row. Okay. This is. I am playing. Are we fire. dead? Are we and fucking dead? Say. Instant fusion. Okay. That was a nice. Yeah. Do you want to use his effect? I would like to. I would have to strike bounds or that. Yes. All right. So I'll take a thousand. Funny enough, Strike Bouncer doesn't destroy. It so. <laughs> I, I pointed that out, yeah. We have That's Charger. so crazy. Uh, is this not once per turn? It is once, once per turn. turn. <laughs> it's once per turn. You would think that card yeah. would be better, right? Go figure they have Root the once per turn clause on this fucking thing, but they don't bother to yeah. have the, Are we the destroy dead? the card part. So, yeah. <laughs> yes, Are that's fine. Are we fucking Go dead? Uh, I need to think on my 9-volt search here. Uh, I don't even know if this matters. I still might not be able to kill you. And then I'm sitting on 200 life. That's terrible. Uh, you got a bunch of guys you can just pend out for the crack back. I think I just do the play similar to what I did before. I think I go for industrial. Yo, what a hard okay. read. We have the fuel cell. Oh, God. Okay. It's going to go 27. Fuel cell, sack, bounce. Bouncing the bouncer. Funny. <laughs> this is literally Clever. lethal. What uh, is he thinking about? Banish two for industrial. Industrial pop pop. Is that game? Uh, which one did you want to pop? I guess Gallant. There's no way this is game, bro. Hold on. Is this game? Two, four, six. This is game. Is. I, this is game? Oh, my God. Wait. <laughs> bro. Oh, my God. I No way I lost to this shit. Holy shit. Can we figure out the new meta sequence? tech with industrial strength that we haven't been doing this whole time? Where did I fuck up that game? There's no way I just lost no, this, bro. You played no fine, way. dude. Oh my god. He Wait, opened hold on. I have everything. To, <laughs> I have to collect myself. I think I, I think this is game. I don't have anything. Bro, you have got to be kidding me. You have got to be kidding me, bro. I didn't miss anything, right? I did everything right, didn't I? Yeah, I mean... Like, I'm making sure I didn't, like, do something improper. No, I think you did everything. I'm just really upset because I punted that forth. game, too, Fucking and now I just lost forth, with man. you well, at 200 life points on game three, game, bro. Gage Collectively, gets to ban, right? game two and three, you were left with 300 life points total, bro. 
And you fucking whooped my ass these two games. How did I fucking... Oh, my... Any Necro Garden this? No. <laughs> oh, my... Any Necro... This isn't Edison, buddy. Dude. Holy oh, my... Shit. Lord, I want to cry. I can't fucking believe it. I just... <sighs> oh. That's wild. I the mean, second okay, game he before, fucked though. up, but needed, he played like, so well outside of one of attack cards. sequence. I either needed that was arguable. Or an instant fusion. Otherwise, my hand wasn't doing anything. <laughs> What did you draw off the top? Was it, it was a good duel, together, but God, I'm uh, sick of this fucking this. deck, dude. Holy guacamole! He didn't need to negate Battle Fader. I, I, I guess. I don't know. I feel like he kind of did. Ugh. Season 1, Simo's uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Spirit was Kalut. Season 2, it has to be Battle Fader. That's true. That's true. Ugh. Oh, man. This may be unexpected. Many of you might think I'm crazy, but I actually decided to ban Norden. The wheel is really the source of most of the issues. Ban ticket, snatch shield just homogenizes these decks. Even wildcard promo does it if they both get in in quick succession. Oh, man. Oh. oh, that was rough. Gage, punter of the burning tunnels. I don't know, man. I thought he, with the exact mistake of the sequencing of an attack order in which he played around gores on a board that it didn't actually matter, that's what cost him that set. Like, he really played out of his mind in the other two games. Oh, MBT is going to hate the lack of attention the Gradles get this episode. True. Oh, man. It's 9 volts, so I had... Mm, holy. That's so painful. All right, let's see what you all have. The anime will call it dual energy, but we know what it really is. It's the spice! He will look cute with blue eyes. Would you believe me if I told you this was a Tistina end board? Yes. Ignite Magic Spectre. Boy, would I love to ignite till I become a Spectre, huh? Gage's performance the last two episodes. Uh, he's doing fine. Additional Yu-Gi-Oh card. And I, I don't feel like this is bad. Uh, I'll just pass to you, dude. Go ahead. Yeah. I, you know, Gage, let me ask you a question. Uh, you talked about throwing games earlier in this episode. Are you going to be throwing anything else hey, here dude. when you uh, flip this card by chance? <laughs> That was really good. I'm. <laughs> the popular, the popular Shapiro is on my deck box now. What the fuck? <laughs> Shouts out to exactly Stardunk Dragon in the Twitch chat for this idea. So long, a bouncer. That's good. When Simo wins two games in a row at 100 to 200 life points, the epic of Alexander Ultimate. Can you feel the power? Me lip syncing original. That's true. We're putting Simo in the car and Gage is driving the tank because it hurts when it crashes down. They both deserve it. Sure. I need to be violent. I need to kill. <laughs> Damn yeah, ass fat. What's your pronouns? Gage, what he sees cavalier. Aborted good. Radle. Sorry I couldn't be there for you. Joseph. Gage. Had other plans. You're bored of battery man. And you look so sad. I could have cooked you a cool deck. Hey, we were born on the same day. We're like twins. Would have liked to retie the series with you. I'll be praying for you. This is so fucking true. It's so true. How much Burning Abyss could Dante travel if the Traveler of the Burning Abyss could travel the Burning Abyss? I want Dante to travel me. I considered posting this last week, but I didn't want to will it into existence. <laughs> Fuck. I'm sorry. Sometimes, you know, it happens anyway. Magical scientist showing off his greatest creation. It's this is so peak. Holy fuck. It's so good. <laughs> Groundhog Day. Rise and shine, campers. Next episode. Band ticket Norton. If you want 5% off. I can't believe he thinks I wasn't born after 9-11. Fuck my viewers. Yu-Gi-Oh! Cool. Gauge after the moment in game two. True. 75% of students are good at maths. Hmm, well, I belong to the remaining 18%. <laughs> Man's always got a battle fader or seven in his hand. 
Oh, okay. Butterfly. What? You fixed it. What the fuck is this? Hey. Yeah. Oh. Skibbity Fortnite. No, I need the sped up version. That's what that's what they sound like in real life. Butterfly. Butterfly. Oh my god. She's just like so British. Butterfly. You fixed it. Hey. Yeah. Oh. Skibbity Fortnite. Skibbity Fortnite. <laughs> this should have been the uh, the thumbnail. <laughs> All right, ready? Scarlon, what do you think? Jess, Lampy, Yu-Gi-Oh moments. One more, one more. Oh no. I don't even know who this is. Am I following this person? They're not following me. It's a free run meme. Damn, that's unfortunate. Sorry, Scarlon. Let's see if we can get Gage on the horn. Dun, da, da, dun, da, dun. He's been faded. Hold up. I'm publishing a video that I have not watched. I just like I have to I have to trust Dyer that it that it is that nothing is wrong with it. I hate doing this because I know something's wrong with it. Skibbity Fortnite. Skibbity skibbity Fortnite. Ah. Uh. Let's react to it. I'm good. I mean, I know what's in it. I fucking... I did make it. Right. <laughs> that was wrong. No grief. Perlergia 2. Holy. Holy. <laughs> what the fuck? Why did crush cards make it look like I'm into Rucolos's feet? I mean, I'm not. Or am I? <laughs> That is not convincing at all. Well, I don't need to convince you because you people, you'll believe anything. <laughs> mm. 
prove it, I'm good. Are you casting for Nickelodeon? Nope. New Doug. Holy shit, New Doug. <gasps> New Doug. All right. Looks like we're not going to get Gage. Well, you ready to do the Twitter thread? Wait, that's prog memes. Ready? Hey everybody, Joseph Rothschild here, aka MBT, and we are back with another Twitter thread. Whew. Uh, I just had to burp there. So today we're talking about hybrid cards. Way back when, as people were quick to point it out, Pokemon started printing cards that had dual typing. Uh, Magic the Gathering does the same with both uh, gold cards and cards with hybrid mana. Uh, but Yu-Gi-Oh! doesn't really have anything analogous, unless you count those like terrible synchro pendulums. If only I could remember the name of a single one. I want to ask you, what cards in Yu-Gi-Oh! would benefit from some type of hybrid typing? Either a uh, hybrid attribute value, a hybrid type line, and I want to begin with Berserk Dragon. I think there's a significant amount of cards that are dragons, like clearly dragons, but they're also a second thing. Like, come on, we're not, we're not just dragons. I'd like to see that remedied by changing their typing, but let's see what you all came up with. <laughs> How do cards like Goes and Match interact with dual typing cards? Oh, I actually know this one. If you have Lad out and Goes and Match at the same time, it's got to go. <laughs> Ultima says monsters that can also be spells would be crazy. Let's go 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21, 21. It is 21, 21. Everyone on earth is fucking dead. <laughs> Foxy says, what do you mean? Monsters already are continuous spells. Okay, one, true. But two, I do like that this is a perfect example. Uh, Snake Eyes Flambird's dragon should be a dragon and a pyro. But he's not. You know, it's honestly a huge shame that all the hero monsters take from different themes and ideas and are stuck to warriors. It'd be kind of cool if they had dual types, if Avian were also a warrior wing beast. Oh, fuck my fucking field! <laughs> Before the existence of Cybers, psychics for the longest time seemed to be a stand-in for tech to the point where all the cards that are just regularly psychic feel out of place. So I think giving all the GX psychics cybers would make sense. Oh, that's a cool idea. <laughs> like, psychic is just like a guy with a computer, and now that we have a guy with a computer, we're like, eh, a rod of them. Zach says, I think Yu-Gi-Oh's hybrids came in the form of chaos, but I'd also like that it expanded to fire, water, and wind, earth. Tri-types would be interesting if the designs went all through the game's types at the core that set them up properly. Agreed. The law says the best answer is unquestionably the tri-types. Having a mixture of beast, beast warriors, and winging beasts, sure, but I want a hybrid machine between... But I want a hybrid between machines and psychics first, as we've had hinted at from the latest TCG support wave. Be still, my Cosmo heart. I think they just... I think they should print a set called, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! House of the Hybrids or something. And it's just a bunch of generic support cards for, like, three types at once. Like, you've got Beasts, Beast Warriors, Wing Beasts. You've got Machine, Psychic, Cybers. We've got, what do we have now? Reptile, Plant. What, what's the, what's Rika? Reptile, Insect, Plant. Yeah, it's like little animals. Uh, fish, fish have had 
fish, sea serpent, aqua forever. Fucking yeah, bring back warrior spellcaster shit like the A-Forces. Absolutely. Dino reptile dragon. Oh, but we have the reptile crossover. I have thought for some time that some number of boss monsters should have the prize cards attached to them. If this card leaves the field by an opponent's card, your opponent draws one. Something like prize cards or rule boxes attached to extra deck mons would go hard, by the way. Okay, hope this is not the question I'm asking, but it is interesting. For the longest time, that's what I thought these cards were. Blue check. Official caster for Pokemon. TCG National Champion. What the fuck? <laughs> Once again, Rush Duels pull ahead. What? Oh, yeah. So for those of you that don't know, Rush Duel Fusions have a unique typing, which is occasionally like a combination of two different typings. It was Magical Knight Cyborg. Whoa, that's tight. Whoa, that's tight as hell. God, I, we need Rush so bad. We, fucking, we need Rush so fucking bad. <laughs> Has nobody said all four Ecclesias? Yeah, Ecclesia should have her own typing that's like Spellcaster slash Tuner slash Effect slash White Woman. <laughs> Why are there so many Ecclesias? This is the same Ecclesia twice. You fucked up your Ecclesias. You're one Ecclesia short. Also, this isn't Ecclesia, right? Oh, I want this so bad. I can't believe we don't have this, by the way. This is an easy print. <clears throat> Progress flag looking motherfucker. <laughs> Just be like, they're making our boss monsters woke. Two colors, purple and green. Just like it's supposed to be. One funny attempt for this is Skelosaurus, but it shouldn't need a Gemini effect. This card is treated as a normal monster. While it's a normal monster, you can normal summon it to give it these effects. This card becomes Earth Dinosaur type. <laughs> Fuck. Um. <laughs> I'm genuinely so mad. Why weren't Amorphages? Wait, I'm genuinely so mad this wasn't why Amorphages were made in the first place and just became this unplayable pendulum deck with new cards just being printed to be part of the lore sets. Hybrid types born from a genetic infection would be so cool. Is that what's happening on Amorphages? Oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, he's got the wolf head coming out of him. Oh, no. Oh, I never looked at these cards enough to see this. Oh, my God. That's disgusting. Look, his fucking skin is sloughing off. Um, uh, well, um, you know, we might get him. Konami, oh my god, everybody else is doing dual types. Our players are going to love this. We got this on the first try. Let's go. You know, it's crazy how beloved this card is. It's crazy that everyone loves this card. It's like you ask new players what their favorite card is almost unanimously. Nirvana High Paladin. Fright for Meister's monster effect gives it the vibe of a fusion synchro. I'm not talking about vibes. If we ever get the Arcana Force retrains, holy, this guy's cooking. I think it would be cool to have their effects make them light or dark attribute depending on the coin flip. Oh, okay. You're cooking, you're cooking. And then we could, I mean, that's a great way to retrain them instead of like trying to, you know, figure out a way to print a support card for this dog shit archetype. The retrain, what is like the greater Arcana? Greater Arcana Force. Isn't there like a Greater Arcana and a Lesser Arcana? Uh, 
Uh, no. There's not. They're called minor and major. And unfortunately, we've already done uh, the major. <laughs> we we'll print the minor arcanas and then make them good. And then you can play them and be like, I'm literally an Arca a rogue deck and a minor. Uh, <laughs> reverse card from Isaac. Yes, what I hope. In 5Ds, tech genus were always machines on top of their regular type. This kind of gets referenced in TG All Clear, though it changes them to all machines instead. That's tight. That's tight. Wait, that's cool. Yes, of course, we do have some that are close, but it's like they gain an effect that gives them the second typing. Fun fact. Ask a judge what happens when you flip goes and match while this card is on the field for a free punch. Do not print this card. <laughs> if this card is destroyed, you can set this card in your pendulum zone face down. Holy! That's fucking tight, dude. Are you kidding me? That is so tight. Can you do that? That's definitely not allowed. That's not allowed. How do you flip it? It's a trap card. It's a See, it's a trap pendulum. Oh. No, <laughs> we can't. I, I think we actually can't print that card. Every time I look at scrap and see they're not machines, I go insane. He is made of metal. I don't know what you're talking about. This is a rock. This is like clearly a rock, right? Finally, we can give all the fucking dragons a dragon typing. Bumbly eyes, poo poo dragon. Ancient gear, Gajilgatron machine. Twin-headed Thunder Thunder. Levier the Sea Aqua. <laughs> and even more, Dragon Zombie. It's literally in the name. Red Eyes Zombie Dragon. Red Eyes Zombie Necro Dragon. Raid Raptor should be both Winged Beast and Machine. They should. They should. You're right. Oh, look at these old ass cards. Hmm. Elemental heroes could, you know, b be elemental. Burst into tricks, Pyro Warrior, Sparkman Thunder Warrior, Clayman Rock Warrior. Ah! It doesn't make any sense. They're dark because they're fiends. But they are burning. They're, they are clearly on fire. Come on. I mean, they're burning in this one for sure. <clears throat> looked for it but didn't see anyone mention it we have Jinzo to think of the baseline aesthetic to thank I think for the baseline aesthetic of psychic monsters in Yu-Gi-Oh and many people are very vocal about a psychic type retrain of him I'm not one of them I am he's the android psychic shocker This is such an insane point. I love it. I think these should have been water because they they put out fires. Why would they be fire type? That's like the worst thing for them to be. It, like, I don't know. I think he's kind of spitting, right? Like, when it comes to what element firefighters are, you know, fire is pretty low on the list. You know, it's mostly water. Ugh. 
Oh, I don't like hearing that, Siberian. You shouldn't have told me that. Altergeists should be dual types of spellcasters and cybers. Well, I mean, there's a... Wait, what the fuck? Why are these guys not cybers? It's like clearly cybers, right? Why the fuck are they spellcasters? Vrains? No, there were cyberses and vrains. It would have made sense for these to be cyberses. They aren't from the cyberstorm? Okay. Not just playmakers shit was from the cyberstorm. Like, they are just randos playing Trickstar. Only the incident guys? No, because Go Onizuka plays a cyber stack at one point, right? Doesn't he? Oh, maybe he doesn't. Uh, Blue Angel plays a cyber stack. She's not, she's not cybers. Did I say Trickstar? Marinces. Marinces. Oh, you mean the, the guys with the AI? Hmm. Does anyone play a cyber stack before they have an AI? Uh, yes. Uh, no. Yeah, the topologics are cybers. Yeah, you're right. These little weirdos have a constant duality theme going on, but they're the most awkward possible implementation because they just didn't want to print cards that say they have two different types or attributes. Like, this is the clearest place in Dream Mirror that you could uh, get into this design space, venture into a world of dual typing, uh, and they just didn't. They were like, no, instead, let's just make them unplayable. I think a super generic ranked synchro would be cool. It's level eight, so you can use two level eights or a tuner plus a monster that equals eight to give it a different effect based on how it's summoned. This is, I'm already lost. He's already a fairy, but he should also be a fiend. Oh wait, they actually scratched out. He should already be my boyfriend. Wait, a Luber is a fairy? Wow, we are not beating the allegations on this one. They should have made more Cyber Dragon v. Hickroid stuff. It's like a really cool idea about Cyrus inheriting Zane's deck. Thankfully, Yu-Gi-Oh! Go Rush! No! I, I, stop! <laughs> kind of the opposite of this but i'll have no other chance to mention that this should have no attribute it's fucked up right instead of giving it no attribute they typed you are unaffected by the effects of clear world that affects you if you have a monster with an attribute come on Yeah, this is a perfect example. Like, these old, non-complex cards like Frost and Flame Dragon definitely were an opportunity to do something like this, but, uh, nope. Hmm. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure this thread is going to work out, Chief. Thanks. <laughs> the megalith monsters are ritual monsters that also function as their own ritual spells. If only there was a game mechanic where monsters could also be spells. It's kind of weird. It's like, why are pendulums the only cards that do this? Just throw it on some monsters, right? Why not?
Another big one is Red Dragon Archfiend. Yep, should be a dragon and a fiend. It really fucks up a lot of things that this motherfucker is not a fiend. <laughs> this is cool. It should be made so that Union monsters gain the type and attribute of their equipped monsters and let it be treated as both. That is really neat, actually. But it would require it would but it would require Konami to consolidate like what it actually means for a monster to be a union monster. Because right now what it means for a monster to be a union monster is it says the word union on it. Like, is a union monster like for this example, for instance, two monsters making an alliance and like teaming up? Is it like with the ABCs, like a fucking transformer? Sometimes union monsters are just a floodgate that you keep in your pocket, like the little dragon. Why are Vylons three types? Why are Vylons three types? What the fuck? What, huh? The Akiza deck has been fucked by monotype. Split between things that care about plants, things that care about dragons, and random support for plants that are unrelated types. Just make these cards plant dragons. I'm going to be honest with you. If you had made Black Rose Dragon a plant dragon in 2010, every Yu-Gi-Oh! player would have jumped off a fucking bridge. This card was already good enough. <laughs> Doesn't need to be able to be giga-planted. <laughs> <clears throat> Give us the other chaos types, Konami. It is so painful to me. It's so painful to me that this is the only one. It's like, oh, you know, actually, there are other dichotomies in terms of elemental typing. Wind and fire, earth and... Or uh, fire and water, wind and earth. But you will never see them ever again. That shit is never coming back. I think they should just make worms also dragons. They made worms because they weren't dragons. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Let me read this tweet to you. I think they should just make worms dragons, says Recusant. I have no ideological or philosophical reason for this. I think it might even make the game worse. However, it would be super funny. So it's a hill I've decided to die on. Absolutely right. Why are the wicked gods not divine beast? It really fucking sucks that it's like, yep, they're gods, but not in the only way that matters. Come on, let us have fun with these cards. We really cool if we had like an ADPZ. Yo. <laughs> what if it was like... <laughs> What if instead of ADP, it was Diabell Star, Snake Eye Ash, and Called by the Grave? What are you talking about? We already have them. <laughs> For sure. I 
I get that they're supposed to be geologists, uh, but could they have also been like spell casters? Yeah, it's so funny that the Adamancipators are rocks. Like, this is not a rock. This is a guy that looks at rocks. This one has a staff. That's not a... That's a... That's a person... That's a spellcaster. The Megalith comments reminded me of this all-time great take that got a lot of people really mad at you. All right, let me check. 2019, this one's aged. The ritualless rituals are just another archetype that has no connection to its supertype's mechanical identity. Dingirsu, Zolkin, etc. There is literally no reason to make the Megaliths rituals. Are they just hoping yeah, the not. blue ink is going to trick idiots into liking them? I... I was spitting. I understand ritual summoning is minus. The right way to fix that is to print rituals that plus, like necro, like necros or shino birds, or to print tools that make it less painful, like the incantations or pre prep. The wrong way is to gut their mechanical identity. Sorry for a boring non meme conversation, but subverting expectations with regards to super types is only effective if it isn't constantly happening. There's a ton of cards that are super types just to give the printer something exciting to do, not to represent a mechanic. God, sometimes I read an old tweet and I was like, I used to be really smart. What happened? Isn't it basically admitting they think rituals have failed as a mechanic because of the heavy resources? It's so funny that it's like, you know what? We just printed Drytron like a year later. <laughs> Then they printed Fool and it was like me and the bestie. I mean, I, I did get tricked by the blue ink. I'm not going to lie. <sighs> the closest thing we have to hybrids is combining multiple archetypes like Perform Hell, Odd Eyes, Synchron. I want to see more cards like this. This card is so funny. Its entire name is just Archetypes. Not to talk about 2019 Joseph again, but I remember when Konami was teasing the greatest card of 2017, I was like, a really funny hypothetical would just be if it was like an aggressively statted guy that had every typing on him. Like, I think at the time I was like, what if his name was like, <laughs> like Bumbulus Burning Abyss or uh, Malbranch of the Burning Abysses Squire. Uh, and it just like had like 2450 attack. <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. It, I don't know how I'm going to get to it. It's a 2017 video again. Uh, filters. Uh, Upload date. Okay. Oh, wait, I found it. I totally just saw it. Here it is. Hey, everyone. Am I coughing up blood? <laughs> what the fuck did I? What? Master Pendulum, the Draco Slayer, seems like the perfect example. First, enough for you entitled to something. Stream was pointed, but I will not be. Kaiju, Draco Slayer of each more ridiculous than the last. Have a sweet. Surprise, surprise, they have effects in the Pendulum Zone that matter a lot. If it ends up being this, I will be disappointed, but I will not be shocked. Seems like the most likely scenario to me. Number two, it might have a sweet name. 
Now, I gotta admit, I don't really think this is gonna be what happens. Still, it would be pretty funny if it did. Uh, there are two different possibilities I see for this, each more ridiculous than the last. The first is that it's got a good name for support. Right here, I've made a card called Gem Knight Kaiju, Draco Slayer of the Burning Abyss. I'm thinking we got Gem Knight for the Brilliant Fusion, Draco Slayer for the True Draco, Kaiju so you can't get Kaiju'd if you just normal summon it. And, hell, why don't we make it Barbar Fodder too? Is it good? No. No, definitely not. Is it fun? Uh, also, probably no. Let's move on. <laughs> I used to be so funny, man. What happened? Holy shit. <laughs> Uh, okay. <clears throat> as bad as it would be for balance, I think it would be really cool for the Sidra line to be machine dragons. Dragon Link doesn't need an Omni that's that easy to access, but fuck, it would be so cool. Dragon Link can have it, you know? They, they've worked hard enough. Bonfire add lone fire. They're both fires! <laughs> <laughs> I feel like 90% of the responses are like, if it says dragon, why not dragon? Uh, but the actual answer I have, what if it was a series of giant monsters that can also be field spells? Fire King Island Turtle. Now you're fucking cooking! <laughs> We literally already have one. Where were you in Contrast Hero Chaos Solve the Racism? Finally, the Continuous Field Spell. There's one for the end card, Dyer. Bada bing. Not only do I think this concept is really cool, it would also do something extremely important for Yu-Gi-Oh. And by that I mean they would have to, have to, have to ban Gozen and Tikbu if they ever did this. See you next time. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Do we got a dual taining? No. I have one for the Yugi Boomers. What do you got? Delta Species. The old Archfiends could have been a dual typing. You know, it was it, it was fucked up that they had to invent a uh, an archetype for these guys. Uh, we saw this all through the thread. All right. Well, shit. Do you want to... Okay. Let's... um. We're not going to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Thank God. Uh, but I'll reveal a little bit about the... um. The uh, finale for Roulette, which we will be playing tomorrow. So, um... What we've done is we've rolled uh, a wheel of all the packs. And we've got four decks apiece that one of us played during the series and we're going to play a conquest with our historic decks so i have to find which decks am i playing i'm playing the black wing deck which is the oh god black wing uh master roulette which one is that oh fucking hell i wish he hadn't named these like an, an unforgettable duel what the fuck did they play <laughs> Maybe like, what the fuck? Welcome to another- Welcome! Fuck. You gotta peep the thumbnail? Welcome to another episode- Okay, let me, let me peep the thumbnail here.
Seems kind of bad. Yeah, sounds good. Okay. Uh, fuck. Is this it? Exceptionally crappy SR. Um, I do like the goblin zombie. Master Roulette Blackwing. Welcome to another episode of Master Roulette. Yeah, this is Chronomaly. Oh. Did we not do Chronomaly? No. I'm going to take it. Okay. Dolce. Sorry, we're not. A yuck. A type. type numbers. They have cards unaffected, which is really well. The worst. What? Okay, that didn't work. Um. It was the Ally of Justice episode. MBT played what is Blackwing? Okay. Goblin zombie. Flamfell Poon isn't. Spencer, I. <gasps> Look at good. It's the Black Rowan, which is. Oh, thank God. This deck is so crazy. Oh, thank the fucking Lord. Flamvel Punani. Oh. This is Doug's list, not yours. Yeah, we're just playing whoever's it was. Uh, next up, I got what is Iron Rings? Iron Wings. Oh, this is the um, the Raid Raptor one. Who won this one? Produce this guy. Yeah. So Doug clapped me. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's a farfa one. Back to another episode of Master Rule. Oh, <laughs> you're you're gonna tether me to Farfa's deck. No, I can't win a Farfa deck. This is uh, not a good one. Okay, please okay, be this good. This guy is actually low-key kind of good. Last trick, tributes itself, and then just specials an Xe from your extra deck. Negated, doesn't do anything. But Oh, this deck's not so bad. Okay, we can win with this. Oh, thank God. Oh, holy moly. Okay. Um, now we only have to win with three of the four. Inevitability of Chaos. What is that? Can I get one of my own decks, please? Uh oh. <laughs> uh, maybe not this one. Uh, fuck. Uh, Black Luster Soldier uh, Master Roulette. Uh, I can't even find it. Man has them feet on speed dial. That's a master roulette episode, chat. <laughs> That's not bad. Okay. <laughs> I, it's a master roulette episode. Yo, know, this is the Thank deck. you to GSC for being this video's patron. If you want to pick what topic I do next, support me on Patreon in the link below. If Ooh, I'm going to do that. Dyer, your next video should be... Oh, it's still up. Recent post by Dyer Yu-Gi-Oh. Suggest a video topic for September of 2022. Wait, Dyer's been making a cool $8 a month off this. What the fuck? No, 
now look at what she uploads. Thank you to GSC for being. Thank you to GSC. Okay, wait, fuck. We're off, we're off topic. Blackluster Soldier Master Roulette. Which one is this? I literally. Oh, I found it. Welcome MBT tricked me. It's MBT tricked me. All right. Is it at least my deck? Oh! I didn't realize I pulled fucking triple chaos space. Ooh, that's that's good news. Oh no. Oh no, there's a lot of URs in here that oh no. Double ruler rest and piss true. Altered heraldry, I imagine that's heraldic. Yeah. Oh, fuck. This is going to be a bad one. Number 69. Yeah, it's on limb for this one for sure. The fuck is heraldic? I don't even see it. Oh, here it is. Welcome it's another to... fucking Farfa one! What are the chances? Don't make me play the Farfa deck. Come on. Uh... Okay, whatever. Four of these decks and one of them is mine. How is that fair? This is actually, honestly, this is not bad. He has play sets of everything. That's like really as much as you can hope for in this fucking dog shit pack. Bros on Garbage Lord? Why not? Garbage Lord is crazy. Oh, holy. All right. We'll have to practice these at least a little bit before, uh, before we hop in. All right. Chat, that's going to be it for me in terms of Yu-Gi-Oh. Thank you all for stopping by. I really appreciate it. If you like what you see, uh, I'd really like a follow. We are trying to get 100K follows by the end of the year, and we are not on pace. Uh, so, you know... We can get on pace. <laughs> uh, I'm going to be back again 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow, and we have a lot going on. We have the finale of Roulette, but we also have the beginning of a new series with Danny. If you liked Broke Boy, I think your dick is going to be tickled by this one. Uh, it is going to be a really fun challenge I hope you all will take with me. We're, of course, going to be doing uh, New Cards Pog Champ as well. Um, and, uh, that's, uh, that's just the way it is. Uh, on Monday, Wednesday, we like to cool down with a little bit of variety. We are going to play, we're going to play some fucking Undertale, some, some Bundertale yellow. Uh, so spoilers for that, but I'm going to be completely honest with you. I don't think it matters. I don't think it's going to be particularly important if you know or not. Okay. So. We're playing peak? <laughs> yeah, right. So, um, I've been playing a lot of Undertale Yellow over the past couple of days. I figured I would jam it today just a little bit. That's so fucking loud. I forgot how fucking loud Undertale is in general. How's that? Volume is more normal. That was wrong. Um... 
I've been playing it for a, a little bit now, and I am just about at the end of the genocide run. And unfortunately, the genocide run is where all the fun bosses are. So we have got two bosses remaining, one that I am standing in front of. Oh my god, it got louder. And the other, which we're going to have to deal with momentarily. Okay, how's this? Is this, is this audio good? We're going to do this for probably about 45 minutes, and then we're going to call it. Did you go neutral? I did, yeah. Neutral... I think neutral is good. I think it's it's really hard to be super positive about the way that neutral is handled, but I don't think they really have an option because I think that, like, the neutral run in normal Undertale is so constrained by a bunch of in-world uh, decisions that are made on the part of the writers... Uh, that they couldn't replicate for this because Undertale already existed. And I think they did a good job. Okay. Let's fucking fight this guy. Okay, I have no idea how to fight this guy. Okay. But the short of it is, we've just been killing people, so I imagine we'll just keep killing them. I gotta get better at uh, the rhythm of this. Let me turn the volume up just a little bit for me. It's annoying. Oh, okay. We are just getting our ass beat here. <sighs> okay. We're still on world record pace. Exactly. This is going really well. What? Oh, uh, that's fine. I know that I am not very good at this game. You gotta understand it, it. It's all about it's all about muscle memory. Like that. Look at that. Last time that took half my life. Now it didn't. Come on, I'm learning. Okay, so it changes at the bottom. That's like so fucking annoying. Look at that. That's so annoying. Boy, this is really annoying. <laughs> Holy shit. This is this may not be the game for me. I feel like if we get one attack further every time, we're just, we're doing much better. Oh, come on. Oh, okay, that, that, that did not go as well as it did last time. I'm getting good at shooting. I'll show you that. Too bad it's not doing any damage. All right, so the concept is the orange one, you have to be constantly moving toward, through, and the blue one, you have to stand still during. Except, look at that. That's such bullshit that it changes. Uh, let's just take some fucking food here. It's so rough. Okay. I mean, that's... Oh! New one here. Oh! That was not good. Okay, this one I can deal. Oh, maybe not. Oh, this is so annoying. Okay, here we go. Whew. Oh, Jesus. This is so hard! Why is this so difficult? Oh, come on. Okay, here we go. Hoo, hoo, hoo. Okay. 
Okay. Oh! There's no way. Are we making progress? I feel like we're not. So hard? What? Okay. Okay, here we go. The shield has something to do with it. I'm pretty sure. Here, I'm gonna just in the other ch in the other frame. We'll just look up a walkthrough. I think you just fucking shoot it until you don't. You literally just shoot it till you don't. Okay. Come on. I really like how I dodged these. I think this is the correct way to dodge these, is to just get out in front of them. Uh, and then maybe just get hit once. Holy fuck. Okay, I got it. 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 It's so annoying. Why am I in the center? I shouldn't be in the center. Yes. Yes. Oh, did you see that? I'm getting good. I'm getting good at this one, too. That was that was bad. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. What's the deal with these guys? I feel like they just blow up whenever they feel like it, and there's no thing I can do about it. Oh my god. Oh ah. I'm do I'm if you get too close they explode. Their proximity? You're fucking with me. I'm learning much here. Ugh. Uh, I don't... I can't figure out this attack. What am I doing wrong there? Oh, that's like nothing. Holy fuck. Stop! Stop! <laughs> it's the last one? Oh, okay, thank you. I'm learning much here today. Oh my god, this is so annoying. There's no way out of this one! Whoa, there's nothing I can do there! <laughs> what the fuck? That's impossible! This, oh my god. <laughs> Would you believe that that was actually the last one? That was literally the last sequence I had to beat. Isn't that insane? That's so annoying. Holy fuck. Oh, we're just... I'm just dying for this one. We gotta run it back. Is there an act that does something? No, that still does 10 to me. That's crazy. Alright, here we go. That one's hard. Ah, come on. Come on. Oh, come on. 
I'm so dumb. Ah! Whatever. Oh, right. I really should not have done that. I forgot that this is, like, a really hard one that I have to be careful on. Wait, that was crazy! I'm kind of out of my mind. Okay. So if I stay away from them, they don't explode. But I can't do that. They're, they're too... They're too good at following me. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to keep eating. We're just going to keep eating. We're going to tank our way through this. See? annoying. <laughs> I just did not move for that one. There we go. Ow. Oh my god, you're right, chat! Okay, wait. Oh, chat, you're so smart! This is the last one. Maybe we just take it. Like, we take every hit in the world. We just get hurt the entire time and we tank it. That's exactly what happened. <laughs> My shield is impervious to your bullets, so you should give up. I'm going to keep shooting him. And anyway, as I said before, I can explain everything to you. You see, I do not have the freedoms you have. My programming. I had no choice. I was forced to neutralize. Oh my god, he killed someone. We have to kill him for this. Oh shit. We're going sicko mode. Holy, holy, holy moly. Oh, he really killed him. All right. <clears throat> He's like, that's, um, I'm not comfortable with that. No, this is fine. This can be very useful against the, okay. So like this is this is one of the things that's kind of irritating, right? It, it's like there is no like malevolent force guiding this person. It's just it's just kind of you being like, eh, I'm gonna go this way. And it's strange because in universe, it's described that the thing that removes Flowey's ability to kind of control the narrative is determination, which this character doesn't have. All right, here we go. This is what I came here for. Feisty sl uh, adult soda. Um, I think root beer outclasses these, and I think beef jerky outclasses these. Yeah, 
Here we go. Let's just make sure there's not any, like, uh, weaponry that I would like to pick up here. I think it's possible there is. Uh, your ammo in this game, you usually find it in piles. And we're using a bit of ammo that, like, I think we could do better with. Maybe not. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Feathers. There we go. Dumpsters, trash cans. So this is kind of what I was hoping was that we would have a... Uh, oh, it's just monster candy. That the... Uh, the sort of discussion that would happen over the course of the game was about uh, the concept of justice, kind of. So I guess we'll see if that happens. Here we go. Time to fight Opila Bird. <laughs> that's, us, that's us firing a gun. See, like this, I don't want to get into it. Okay. Is estrogen? No. Oh, that's not good. But that's like really not good. It's Sylvanium! Okay. Oh boy, that's really not good. Okay, that's fine. We know that. That's not good. That's new. Oh! I'm on! Oh, fuck! I didn't know we were up! <laughs> oh. <gasps> okay, we got the dash. Holy shit! <laughs> okay, um, uh, Floral Cupcake is 50. This is terrible. What the fuck? This is awful. Remind? Uh, I have to dash out of these. Okay. We're learning much. We're, uh, we're learning much here. Oh, and it comes down. Great. Wow, she has a lot of health. Okay, so the yellow ones we can destroy by shooting them enough. Holy fucking moly, dude. Are you kidding me? Uh, okay. This is such a hassle. The most overblown fight ever. Okay, 
Look at this! How do you digest this? There's nothing. It's just happening. This is just shit. It's just shit being thrown at the screen. What the fuck? A le I'm I'm gonna turn the auto fire on. I <laughs> imagine not sight reading this fight. It is unsight readable. There we go. I have to unlock the ability to dash. Okay, there we go. Uh, like these are not, these are not dodgeable. Oh my God. What, what do you want? Okay, here we go. This is so irritating. Okay, the green ones, or the yellow ones we can get. Oh, okay, um... I don't know, fucking this. Okay, uh, this. I'm like mashing here! Oh, fuck! Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay, that, that, that sequence is actually doable. Okay. Uh, fucking, I don't know. Um. Does acting even do anything? I should be doing this for everyone regardless. Fuck off. Expect me to do there. Holy shit. We're just over half. Can you believe that? Oh my god, there's fucking more! Oh! Oh! Come on, man! What the fuck?! Sai read this, fucker! This is insane! Oh my god. Okay, so when she gets to like three quarters, we have to we have to keep one of the florals for that. Because we're just gonna tank a quadrillion hits. Oh I tried on that one. That was my own fault. That was like doable. Yeah, we're getting better at that opening fight. Oh, okay, 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 okay simply cheap. It's unfortunate because there have been a number of fights throughout gen the genocide run that have been really like interesting. But this is not one of them. <laughs> oh, that was good. Okay. We're learning. 
Uh, I wonder if it's even... Yeah, let's just take an adult soda. Anything to, like... I'm getting better at that. Uh, not that much better. That one's so bad. 61 of 92, we can do the monster candy. What? I literally... Okay, I'm actually extremely skilled. Did you see that? I'm actually extremely skilled. Okay, that one was not so skilled. Uh, fuck. Okay, well I actually have too much health here to waste one of the good healing items on. Something that will be remedied by this sequence right here. destroyed. Here we go! I'm fucking goaded. Did you see that? That was insane. How, how did... This is everything. I mean, this is the rest of the... There's more? You have to play the rest? Oh my god. Okay, we're out of, we're out of shit. Okay. I don't know. I'm fucking, uh, remind them. Oh, wait. Oh, damn. I was like, this is a, this is a sequence I remember. I don't remember this fondly. What, what did you want me to do that? There. What was I meant to do there? Again, I'll fucking do it again. How did I every time? Not remotely in a position to do anything. Is there something I'm missing here? shots <laughs> that's no i am not undertale martlet no hits i mean there's just no way right i'm i'm looking it up i have to turn auto off I literally need to be doing this. Can 
think we actually... Oh, we do have an item. I don't know. I don't feel like we're doing more damage. Happy birthday, Mizor83. Stop using items so early? What are you talking about? We got time. Why wouldn't we use our items? If, if I get... If I get to the end of this and there's a fucking second phase, I'm going to be so fucking mad. <laughs> it does look like you're only hitting her armor. Where else am I supposed to hit her? Curve the bullet. Camp in the corner. I am hitting... I see what you... That one attack specifically? Which one attack? Oh, I see what you mean. I have mastered what you mean. Okay. This is so fucking annoying. How did I get hit there? Am I stupid? Thank you so much, chat. I really appreciate that. <clears throat> like, why will one... Just sit on X. Sit on X. There's nothing else you can do there, apparently. This is not the same as the other one. Oh, 
boy, this is not good. How do I dodge this one? Oh, that, that worked. Went down to one HP there. This is, uh, this is really rough. Wow, I'm getting good at this part of the very first sequence. I don't think I've dodged that one. Oh, okay. First time we've really gotten past that. Best we've come out of that attack yet! All right, we just have to do that for every single one from here on out. That could have been worse. Oh my god, I'm fucking cooking! This is the freebie. More of that, please. There we go. I'm better at that attack. I'm still not great. Could have been worse. Okay, come on. Annoying. The enemy prepares. Okay, this is the big one. Nope, there's one more. Okay, this is the big one. Okay, that could have been worse. Ah, annoying. You have no reaction time there. Whoa, that's new. That's really annoying. Okay, I know this one at least. Oh, that's really annoying. That could have been worse. I was so excited. I was like, yes, the one with the free space. That only happens once, huh? All right, we're out of food. I was just gonna have to do it. It's a nice sequence, though. Oh my god, she does it again? What is the new one? Oh no. I feel like we're not getting better. I feel like, I feel like we're not getting better at this.
Remember, the dashing gives you invincibility. I'm, I'm aware. Stop tilting. I'm not tilted. I'm literally playing... <laughs> I'm playing fine. <laughs> it's just really hard. <laughs> oh. It just feels like that sequence I need to just memorize. That was stupid. Okay. I guess, I wish there wasn't such a cooldown on the dash. dashed the completely wrong way there and still made it out. That was really... I just got hit the entire time that, that attack was going on. This again. Okay. I mean, it could have been worse. Why am I so bad at dodging the hands? This attack is so annoying. Holy fuck. Oh my god. We're trying out here. like if you tried to make another sans type boss fight but instead of having difficulty come from coordination and memorization you came it came from it being unable to be parsed uh, okay we we got it we got it we got it <laughs> this lady holy shit this is what boss fights are like in fucking joe biden's america oh i forgot i don't have the dash for the first the first attack i have to earn it Oh, that... This is already doomed. <laughs> that was a pretty... That was a pretty nice sequence. Okay. <laughs> that was maybe a little too... We got it this time for sure. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm trying. I'm trying out here. All right. Why can't I fight her? Let me fight this lady. Uh 
If I'm up close to the top, do I hit more shots? Ooh, I think so. That was smooth. That delay is kind of uh, betraying me here. fucking up something relative to the claw attack. Just don't really know what it is. What? What hit me? Actually, I'm pretty sure that this is the one. I keep trying to dash through these, but I don't have the dash yet. There we go, now I have the dash. Okay, I'm, I'm learning about the grab attack. All right, this is the free one. This is so hard. Stop. Stop trying to predict it. Like, I need to just react. Here we go. You know, I thought that was it, but I don't, I actually, this is the one actually I've decided. Ah, come on, just give me the dash. Okay, that was pretty smooth, I'm not gonna lie. That was not very smooth.
What the fuck? How did that not dash? That's cool. I have no problem. Could have been worse. I gotta stop predicting. I gotta stop predicting. God, that, that sequence is so annoying. Oh, it's her worst attack. Oh, this one is so annoying. Okay, that was an interesting way to deal with it. We are... We are pretty close. Trying to dash these, not a good idea. You need to be careful with your healing items. Uh, no. Erm, um, how about no? I'm getting good at that sequence exactly. I think I, if I dash in the opposite way, then I'm okay. Whoa, hey. That was supposed to be the freebie. There's just no way to do that. I'm a little concerned because that person has like an Undertale name and I'm like, uh oh. They probably know what they're fucking talking about. Does reminding do anything or am I just doing this to irritate myself? You know the answer. I think I do. That was kind of cool. All right, she's going to do the item or the attack here. Fun attack. Cool attack that I get no credit for. Wait, I'm goaded. Okay, I'm not goaded anymore. I'm getting really bad at the claws, actually. And at that, apparently, too. Holy! This attack. Okay, I figured out the trick to this attack is to just jam X and try and stay as close to the top as possible. That didn't work as well as I would have hoped. I feel like we're, we're getting closer. Okay. Reminder, we do not have the dash yet. 
for some fucking reason. Oh, I was like, our first time doing it no hit, but we didn't do it no hit. We got hit once. That was cool. Let's just do that a hundred times. One of the worst times I've ever done that attack. That's fine. I feel like there's got to be a better way to do that. That was embarrassing. This is the freebie. I, I got to die on this one. Don't hang out at the top of the column sequence. The squares fuck you up every time. Yep. Okay. Like, how am I fucking that up? Whoa, that was pretty clean, I'm not gonna lie. That was so annoying, holy fuck. That was also equally annoying. You're hitting the wrong diagonals on the claw? Oh, that's gonna be really embarrassing if that's true. Much to think about on the grab. Oh, fuck. Right, come on, Jaden animations. was the worst I've ever done that one. Yeah, this one's this one's cooked. <sighs> 
tried to dash through it again. Oh, come on. Nah. I think the claw can literally come out from one. <laughs> Just spare. It's like ruin the whole round. I think I got this. This is the one. I'm pretty sure this is the one. This is the one. Do we have a mod in chat? Can we get a prediction up? Could have been worse. I, I have to be fucking that up. I do not understand what I'm supposed to be doing. better. But not that much better. like we keep dying at the exact same fucking part. Okay, wait. We made it one sequence farther this time. So what am I doing wrong with the claws? I'm, I'm literally pulling up a fucking... Okay, I got three more in me, chat. Hey there, handsome. How's stream been? Not great. <laughs> I'm 
don't know why I ran into that. Okay, that was less annoying than usual. Okay, Ooh. Okay, that... That was not bad. are not even close. Ah! We're just dying on the same sequence over. Set wait. Made it to the next sequence. left. We almost got through it hitless. supposed to do that bump up it doesn't the cooldown is longer than that okay what are we jesus christ We are not getting close. We are, it's not like we're like one hit off. We're like four or five sequences back every time.
All right, we got it. We got it. We got it. The problem, yeah, the problem, chat, is that this is actually the one. Wow, that was really not good. <laughs> that was, that was very not good. I hope you're enjoying yellow. Ah, uh, I'm having. <laughs> I'm having a time. We're getting better at that sequence. That particular sequence we are not doing as bad as we used to. The fucking claws. You're right. It's the right claw I keep getting got by. Oh, I thought this would do it. How did I get hit by that? I feel like I did a good job there. Oh man, we are. <laughs> yeah, this is this may not be the one chat. All right, one more. Woof. I hope everybody understands. Like, I will probably go offline after this one. But, like, I am going to go down with this ship. This isn't like I'm going to give up and then, like, just never beat it. Like, I will just practice offline until I beat it. Keep streaming, then. Mm, you see the little number going down? very poorly on that one. That's fine, though. Okay, so, like, walk me through this. Look. Watch. Why are we so bad at that one in particular? Ooh, that was kind of nice. I like going up and down. Maybe we'll try that. Ah, I keep having to remember this is the freebie. Does it matter for viewer retention to go down on the site about maintaining viewers? Yeah, it does. Oh, that was my own fault. I should not have read chat. All right, I'll give you one more for that. Chat, he played most of the game off stream. Don't act like you're invested. That's true. People showing up and watching me, like, a character they don't know beat another character they don't know. Oh, man, I got to see how this plays out. Fuck. Still not doing great on that one, but we're, we're at the pace we were last time. Let's take this time to eat this. And then let's think. See? You're like... I'm just not getting that right one. It's not... <laughs> it's not investment so much as rubbernecking a car accident. I, I appreciate you. At least you're honest. Ooh. Is Joseph getting better at that sequence? Oh, come on. No, nah, come on, guys. If you say so, maybe he is. I don't know why I let you people talk me into charging for that attack. It does not do what I want. Oh, it's early.
Oh, we almost got out of the fucking pincers there. Ah. God, that's annoying. We are just about out of shit. That was nice. Okay. Now, what did you want me to do there? We're cooked. Oh, this is a fun sequence to die on. Same sequence as ever. Damn, dude. Now we're going to call it for tonight. Thank you all for enduring 45 minutes of someone dying at the exact same point in a boss fight over and over again. I think that makes for good television, personally, but your mileage may vary. Holy... It's really, ah, uh, I don't know. It It's really upsetting that it is just not a particularly engaging fight. It's like, oh man, yep. Here comes another completely unreadable attack. It's like after a while, you know, I, I felt like I could consistently dodge a Sans attack. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but I've only been playing for an hour, so... I imagine this will probably take as long as uh, all of the game preceding it. In the meantime, thank you all so much for stopping by. I really appreciate it. I will be back at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow, 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 tomorrow. We will be hanging out with Doug. We will be playing the finale of Roulette, and we will be filming... Uh, the first thing that we will be doing with Danny, new series PogChamp, new series PogChamp. Uh, I'm going to throw you over to Nim Nim. Is he, is he streaming? Is my little boy streaming? Let me check. He's not. Uh, I will throw you over to fucking Rorkalos. Uh, bye-bye. Goodbye.